Today we're speedrunning all 96 tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now our speedrun starts as soon as we select our first race, and of course we begin with Mario Kart Stadium. Now right away there are going to be a couple cool tricks we're going to do for this speedrun. First of all, what I want to do is start one of these drifts, and we want to time it just to right there, right where we can get through that grass, and then we'll hop through to go a little bit faster. We also want to do another trick where we use a boost into a jump and get on top of that platform so we can get a trick right there. In a lot of these stages, there are going to be some cool shortcuts that we're going to do, especially because this is 200cc, so we can do a lot of these shortcuts even if we don't have a mushroom. You'll see I will do this again. We can hop over there and even got a better one this time. It's pretty much just about repeating this and also worrying about things like these red shells which keep coming down. We pretty much always want to have some sort of protection item, but sometimes the game is going to give us things like coins instead, which isn't the best and there's not too much we can do against this blue shell so i'll just take it right there sometimes we will get the item where you can actually protect yourself from the blue shell and of course we also get lightning perfect yeah that's just what speedrunning mario kart with items on will do to you a lot of it is rng but we still have to race well also by the way the cart i'm using is the teddy buggy with the roller and the paper glider but there's going to be race number one only nine to five to go so next up we're on water park and the first thing i want to make sure i do is get both of these two coins just because they're in a really convenient spot Coins are really important for this game because every time you pick one up, you'll get a little speed boost. But also right there, what you'll see is I'm drifting into that jump and then we can move ourselves since when you're in the water, you have a lot more control. That way I can use my speed boost as soon as we hit the ground. There's some cool things you can do with this game, including stuff like that. So we're going to be using the mechanics of the game as best as possible. You'll see me do it again if I can avoid that banana. Sometimes the CPUs love putting bananas right there. Apparently there as well. By the way, the CPUs for the speed run do all have have to be hard difficulty so yeah they're gonna be racing pretty well and they definitely will do some annoying stuff to me in this speed run you kind of gotta accept it for this one but the maximum coins we can have for this run is always gonna be 10 so if we can keep 10 for as long as possible that will be preferred now, a lot of the times when you're in first, the game really likes giving you coins, even if you don't need one. So what we can do is always have one in our inventory, and then that will make it impossible for them to give us a second. So that's an easy way to plan for that. It won't always work, but it helps out in a lot of stages. For the third stage, we're on to Sweet Sweet Canyon, and this one's pretty cool. Honestly, I like pretty much all the tracks in this game. They all have unique things, and all work out pretty well. And all use some really cool stuff, especially the anti-gravity in this game. I love those features. But what we want to do here is take this blue path, which we can do a couple of these drifts and then we want to drift to the left and then jump here so we get the perfect angle and can go straight through without getting on the off-road the off-road will always slow us down so if we can avoid that that will be preferred there goes my defense item and they also took my coin which is kind of annoying but what we can do right here is get a double item block so that's probably going to give us a coin and something else like i said when you're in first place this game loves giving you coins it's really annoying because i pretty much never need coins the game just wants to give them to me it's so sad but like I said before, since I have the coin right here, when I get another item block, okay, <laughs> I lost my item right before I got the item block, so it gave me another coin. That's so sad. Yep, this is item runs, and this is what I'm going to be in for for the next three hours. Okay, there is going to be a red shell right here. Maybe I can get something beforehand, but there is a blue shell, so that actually works out perfectly, because if you get hit by one item, you can't get hit by the second one for a short amount of time, so we can use those invincibility frames to not have to worry about that blue shell. Sometimes things just work out like that. And for the last track of Mushroom Cup, we have Thwomp Ruins. And this one starts out with a pretty difficult jump where I have to make it right there, hop a couple of times, and make it over to the trick so I can get a speed boost. 200cc makes things like that so much easier. I mean, it's still pretty difficult, but it's a lot easier than trying to do it in 150 for sure. But right here, I'm gonna take just this general path. I wanna keep this coin until we can get another item block because then hopefully we can get two defense items. Usually it's just gonna give you another coin, but we can at least hope. And we will try to do this trick again. It's a little hard to hit sometimes. I did go off to the side. I'm pretty sure it still saves time, even if you don't get the trick though. And yeah, pretty good race. One thing I always love seeing is the map and just how far ahead we are than all the other people but they can really catch up especially if they get a couple of items in a row this game really likes making you sad but i will go for this jump again and oh 
Okay, yeah, we went over it. But that might time up with the blue shell. Okay, no, it was at the worst time. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know you could jump over that. I've never done that before, but you know, we'll take it. A lightning as well. When it rains, it pours in this game. I'm pretty sure when you're really far ahead of the CPUs, they actually get better items because this game does not like you winning. It doesn't like a first place player. And I mean, fair enough, I am destroying all these guys. But we got a banana with us. We can get a couple of coins right there. I will go for this jump again. I probably should just not do it because I don't want to fly off like I did last time but that'll work out perfectly. That's the mushroom cup done. Now we're onto the flower cup and this one starts with Mario circuit, which this is a really standard stage. There's not really any shortcuts. It's just about doing good driving and also avoiding things like those Goombas right there. And there are also things like piranha plants, but since we're going so fast, we usually don't have to worry about those guys. But I just want to take the tightest angles as possible because if you're hugging the tightest angle, then obviously you go less distance. So it works out well, but this stage is really fun because it literally is just no tricks, no anything like that. It's just playing well and also kind of hoping you get good items. I mean, sometimes we might get a blue shell or something. I'm expecting to see a lot of those in the speed run, and I think that's a blue shell right there. Okay, so there is also a red shell. I probably should have gotten hit by the red shell and then knocked into the blue shell. And no, actually, that works out perfectly. Okay, I'll take it. The blue shell is a longer stun than any other item, so we'll always tank another item instead of taking the blue shell. But right here, we're coming to the end, but another blue shell in the exact same stage. They really are trying to let these CPUs win, but I'm not going to let them. I'm trying to go fast. This is a speed run, so we'll make it to the end. And yeah, pretty good stage besides the bad luck. Now for stage number six, we have Toad Harbor. And just in general, any stage with cars, I don't really love. I'm not the best with dealing with cars. In this one, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but in later stages, you'll see what I'm talking about. But we want to take this path, the upwards one, and then we want to make this jump but yeah, sometimes I mess up that jump, lose a little bit of time. And then of course, there's also a red shell right after just to kick me while I'm down. The thing is, this is a 96 track speed run. So we're definitely going to see some mistakes. It's pretty much impossible to play perfectly this entire time. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. But okay, doing pretty well on the first lap. At least we're still in first. I'm going to keep this coin with me. So then we can get this item block. That's going to give us a banana. I will take it and we'll also go for this jump a second time. It's just a little awkward to hit especially if you go on just a slightly wrong angle and stop doing this game just loves giving me the blue shells i swear and i'm hoping for anything except for a coin at this point if i could have two protection items that would be awesome because sometimes the cpus are going to get like double red shells or something and they can really mess you up it is not fun but i'm just going to keep this banana no real point in switching out my item and we'll try this one more time can i actually do the jump Thank you. Was it that hard? It really isn't that bad of a jump. And obviously it's the fastest way to go. Otherwise we'd be taking a different path, but there we go with that. We have a red shell coming at us. Thankfully I have the banana and there shouldn't be another item that's coming after this. So I think we should be good. That's the stage done. Now on to Twisted Mansion, which is going to be the boo level. I like this guy. I mean, in general, Donkey Kong. Okay. Donkey Kong just pushed me out of the way like a jerk. Okay, yeah, sometimes that happens. Even if they're not using their items, sometimes they can just mess with you by knocking into you. It's not fun. And uh, then there's also a green shell. You know, not the greatest start in the world, but again, this is just what happens when you speedrun Mario Kart with items. I did it to myself. I could have chosen the no items category, but I just wanted to play Mario Kart as the chaotic game it is. But okay, now we're ahead of people. In general, I just don't like being behind CPUs because there can be situations like when they're holding something behind them and you accidentally run into it or they can just hit you with multiple things randomly sometimes. They are really annoying. But I'm always going to take this top path right here. That's just the fastest one, like usual. And we also want to make it through these statues. Pretty easy stuff right there. Also, Squidward is going to spray us with his ink. My friends and I have always called the blooper Squidward, so I will be saying that in this video. I mean, I think it's a pretty good name, and I mean, he's spraying ink on us, so it kind of fits. Anyways, coming to the end, Donkey Kong, that's what you get being all the way behind me for messing with me at the start of this race. Not perfect but we'll take it. And now we're on to Shy Guy Falls. This one has a really cool skip we do closer to the end of the track. First, we have to deal with Donkey Kong. Stop, it's Donkey Kong. Okay, he did that on purpose. You know, I remember watching Dashy videos and he always hated on Donkey Kong and now I'm kind of getting it. Donkey Kong is going to be our number one rival for this video, apparently. This guy just keeps wanting to mess with me, but it's okay. So what we're gonna do, obviously, is take that jump and then we wanna come to the ground as soon as possible. We wanna do a drift right there, jump. 
and then be able to make it to that jump. And since we are on 200 CC, it works out. That wasn't the perfect way. We're Donkey Kong, please. As I was saying, that's not the perfect way we're trying to do it, but we'll get a better one next time. I mean, if there is a next time, Donkey Kong is trying his best to make sure that doesn't happen to me. A good thing though, is we do have two shells. So I do really like that. We'll try to get around Donkey Kong. I don't know why he has so much speed right now. Probably a lot of coins. I mean, I would have a lot of coins too if I didn't keep getting hit by him. But okay, I'm gonna go for this again. We try to get the boost right there. We can make a trick. It works out perfectly. And now we are back in first. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Now for lap number three, I'm just trying to stay ahead of this guy. I know Donkey Kong is gutting for me. Sometimes I think Nintendo actually made these CPUs specifically try to attack you. Like it does not make sense why he hit me at the beginning of that race. But okay, Squidward's coming through. In this game, Squidward is definitely the most powerful he's ever been. I remember on like Mario Kart Wii, he definitely was not this good. And there is also going to be a blue shell. I'm not going to go for the trick here just because it could happen when we're trying to make the jump, make us die and lose a lot more time. So we will come through here. At least we beat Donkey Kong, even if that wasn't my best race, which means we're on the Star Cup and in Sunshine Airport. I absolutely love this stage. First of all, I love Super Mario Sunshine and you see the Piantas and stuff. So it always reminds me of that game. And also just the entire airplane gimmick and all that stuff going on. It's such a good stage. So what we want to do is drift right there and then do another one right there. If we do that perfectly like that, then we'll just get tons of speed and go straight through. Now, right here, we just want to take as tight of a path as possible. We will see a red shell right there. I'm going to use my greed shell as a little bit of protection. Pretty good first lap. We do see Donkey Kong behind me. I know he's trying to gun for me. He's always gunning for me in this video game. Sometimes in 200 CC, it doesn't make sense to do a trick every time you can. If you're playing 150 CC, pretty much as the rule, you always want to do a trick. But in 200 CC, since we're going so fast already, that can just cause us to hit walls and lose more time instead of gaining some but i will take that double item box please give me something good squidward's coming back out that's not the worst spray in the world sometimes he's right in front of your face but that's over to the left i don't mind that one and we can also dodge that red shell which i like and we're about at my favorite part of this stage but to be fair this is probably everybody's favorite part just when the airplane comes right above you that's just such an amazing part this game has so much love put into it and there we go that's the first race of the star cup done so at this point now we're on the dolphin shoals and this one's actually pretty interesting because you might think that we should take those jumps but it's actually not the best thing to do and and I just messed up that right there, but that's okay. And of course, then there's a red shell. But while you can get tricks off of those, it's just not worth it because it's gonna make you spend so much time in the air. We're just gonna stick to the water there. Then we just have this big turn right here, which always feels really good to get a really good boost there. And then what we wanna do instead of going to the ground right away is try to fly as long as possible so we can go straight over to the water. And that's much easier than trying to deal with 200cc in this level. I love all the dolphins coming through, man. This level's so good. There's probably going to be a lot of me saying these levels are so good. I just love Mario Kart as a game, man. But also one thing important, we do want to trick off the eel. That just gives you a little extra speed and we can get a couple coins if we play it correctly too. But I do see a blue shell on the map. But, oh, we actually got the item to counter it. So with this item, what we... And there's a red shell too. Okay, this makes it a little bit more complicated. I think I used it. Yeah, I used that early. I It works out anyways because the red shell hit us first at least. But yeah, sometimes we might get a situation like that where I wanted to hit both the blue shell and the red shell at the same time. It just didn't really work out how I wanted it to. One of these times, I will actually kill a blue shell. Probably. But we will take our final glide straight over there. Might as well take my coin. And there we go. So on to Electrodome. And this one starts out with a nice little jump. It's kind of funny. They make you use the glider right at the beginning. But it's only literally for a second. And then I will try to grab a couple of coins here if I can. Those are a little hard to hit, especially on 200cc. But then after that, I'm going to take this pink path grab those two coins right there and we're gonna do a really long drift so we can get a nice boost right there do another one right there and finally get another long drift obviously the longer you drift the longer your boost is going to go but it looks like we have six coins so far i don't have to worry about that red shell which i like i was kind of hoping that the red shell would take out my banana before the item box but didn't work out that way we also will get this blue shell hopefully the red shell gets destroyed and that's perfect you know you just got to celebrate the good things that happen every once in a while sometimes you do get a blue shell and a red shell together but at least one of them 
breaks the other one, so that's okay. Also, I love the way the piranha plants look in this stage. They just look so cool and happy, man. But okay, we'll take the pink path one more time. We have double bananas. I actually love having double bananas. It's kind of funny because as a kid, that would be one of the worst things to have. I guess it kind of is when you have a blue shell. Right there, I was trying to hit myself with my own banana and then hopefully get two red shells, really. Okay, but they take each other out. Sometimes you can get red shells if they're both coming after you. They can hit each other, but we do get a lightning at the end. That's okay. At least we finish it out. This game really doesn't want me to win. Donkey Kong is also staying in second. You know, he hasn't really done too much to us lately, but I can see it in his eyes. He's always gunning for us. Anyways, now we're on to Mount Wario, and this stage is really fun because I believe it's the first one where instead of three of the same laps, all laps are going to be different. We're going to be going down this entire mountain. Donkey Kong is trying to knock me off, murder me in cold blood. You love to see it. But I will try to do a cool trick right here where what I want to do is charge up a boost and yeah, that did not work how I wanted to. But basically, if I did that perfectly, we would have been able to make that jump. I mean, we're still in first somehow, so we didn't lose that much time. But I will come through this cave section. We do want to get this boost right there. And before we even make it to this section, we want to start drifting. That way we go over to the right. And that's going to make sure we're going the right direction. There's a lot of little details when playing 200cc like that, which you have to pay attention to. But now in this section, what I want to do is actually jump right there and do a couple of tiny hops. That way we can make it over to this and not have to deal with turning in a bunch of different directions. But here is both a red shell and a blue shell. I'm actually getting really lucky with that. Obviously, I'm not getting lucky with not getting blue shells, but at least a lot of these times I'm getting a red shell first. And now we're on the third lap. We just have to make it through this alpine skiing. I have a bomb. The bomb is probably the worst defensive item to have. Just because if you're going a little bit too slow and an item hits you while you have your bomb out, then you're also going to get hit by the bomb. I would not be surprised if that happens to me once or twice in this video. But I mean, at least it is a defensive item. And since we are in 200cc, it usually shouldn't be a problem. But right there, I'll take the win. We'll also set down the bomb. I always kind of throw my items away right at the end, just hoping they hit somebody. It's what the CPUs get. But all right, special cup time and we have cloud top cruise so in this one there's some kind of weird physics with how these bouncy things work sometimes they can really mess you up so i elect not to take that second one and right here what we want to do is take the right path i used to always take the left path but it's so much easier to get that right path right there especially when you're on 200 cc i'm probably always going to take that now but here we go i have to make sure i'm not getting hit by any of that lightning that one on the left i actually dodged that boost pad just because there's usually a lightning strike that happens there and i didn't want to take any chances but that's going to be the first lap done you also see at the end of the stage i didn't take the little shortcut with the leaves and that's because a lot of the times i just fail it i'm really not good at that shortcut for some reason some of these shortcuts i'm great at and other ones you know, it's probably just better for me not to take them. Oh, but we got a Squidward ink into a boost. And thankfully, if you get a boost after Squidward uses his ink, then it just completely gets rid of the ink. It's pretty nice. But here we have a red shell and a blue shell and also a lightning. And it happened in the perfect spot where we didn't have invincibility frames. So there goes literally everything I had. Yep, that's item on Mario Kart speedruns. You gotta love it. Thankfully, I did get a banana here. I was a little worried that was gonna be a coin and I was just gonna get hit by the red shell as well. All right, not the luckiest race in the world and there is gonna be that red shell. I have a little too much speed and also Squidward comes out. Thankfully, his ink's going away right away. Okay, I think I should still be able to at the very least win this. We will be watching out for that lightning and I am gonna get this double item box and okay i'm just gonna make sure i win it doesn't really matter for the speed run if you always get first place but i just wanted to take him out take that i don't even know who we just hit with that but they deserved it probably so now we're on to bone dry dunes in this race is super hard on 200 cc you have to have a lot of control and what i'm gonna do is use those mini hops if you use a mini hop then you can slightly position yourself in a better spot. So a lot of times we're actually going to want to use it. I also didn't want to get that much of a boost right there. That was kind of an accident, but that's fine. We can still recover. We will take this path. That way we can get a bunch of boosts and also a coin right there. And yeah, we probably will do it better the second time around. I'm just trying to stay coarse. We also have to dodge these dry bones. They're really annoying because they just walk around. They don't stand in just one spot. But again, I'm going to use that hop just to slightly reposition myself. The hop is really really good in this game. I don't even know if the developers knew it would be this good, but here we go. I actually got a better boost. And what I want to do is start my drift 
before that jump. Then we can save it up, use it right there, and go straight over here. Not perfect again, but a lot better than last time. Now we have to come through here. I will see the dry bones. I'm trying to go to the left. Somehow my drift got messed up. Not the worst thing in the world. And only one more. I see Donkey Kong behind me. He's still gunning for my head. But let's see if I can get the slightly better one this time. So I want an okay boost right there, one right there. Then I want to go take the left path through there. And that's actually perfect. That's what we wanted the whole time. And then we get a lightning and a blue shell. Ah, uh, yeah this game <laughs> that's okay at least it didn't happen when i was above that pit that would have been the worst case scenario but just let me make it through here we have two protection items there are three bullet bills on the screen right now somehow these people are so bad that they all need bullet bills kind of embarrassing not gonna lie i can't really talk though before i learned the speed run i also needed to use a lot of bullet bills when i played my friends the funny thing is for this speed run i'm probably never going to be able to casually play mario kart again at least at 200 cc Maybe Maybe I can play 150. Anyways, now we are on to Bowser's Castle. And right away, we got hit by a couple of things, but that's okay. There are a lot of different things that can hit you here. And I took the wrong path by going over to the left. At least we didn't get hit by his fist. That is okay. You're supposed to take the left path if you can go fast enough. <laughs> All right, let's not mess this up again. You know, some of those mistakes, not my fault, like getting hit by items, but that one, not the best thing in the world. So here, what I like to do is always take that top path just because it's a little bit easier. And we want to drift right there, not get hit by the laser. Not my best stage so far, I'm not going to lie. There's always time to do better, though. I just have to not get hit by boulders. That boulder is nice, though, because it doesn't knock you out for as long as possible. We are losing a lot of coins, which isn't preferable, though. And there's going to be a blue shell. Why do the blue shells always happen when I'm in first? There was another person in first, like, a second ago. And it also happens at the worst time when we're above the lava. I kind of wish this game let you fall into the lava, like, past games. Instead of Lakitu saving you before you even get there. Anyways, lap three. This time, I'm going to dodge the lasers. We go through here. I did not want to trick there, actually. Like I said before, sometimes tricks are not good things and sometimes falling off the track isn't a good thing actually probably every time falling off the track isn't a good thing i have pauline in front of me it isn't even my worst adversary donkey kong pauline is trying to beat me to be fair i really do love pauline so not the worst person to have in front but okay i just have to dodge these boulders i think i can still be her but no she is taking the same path as me please and that's our first second of the run. I mean, it's going to happen. It's 96 tracks, but kind of sad when you get a second. Here, we have the ability to make it up, though, because it's Rainbow Road time. And this on 200cc is one of the hardest tracks. Now, right away, what you're going to see me do is I have to do a drift, and I'm actually going to be holding B a lot. We cannot go too fast here. Otherwise, we're just going to fall off like we almost did right there. It's really hard to get the exact movement. But when you do it, it does feel really good. Like right there, I enjoyed it. Meanwhile, the CPUs just drive perfectly. They don't even have to worry about falling off. It's kind of sad. But right here, I'm going to take the right path. And then we're going to jump onto the left path using that. I remember I actually learned about that back in the Wii U days. And it's kind of fun. I'm using it on the Switch game. But this trick always scares me because it's kind of hard to tell your brain what to do. And also, there are red shells, two of them. Thank you, Pauline. I appreciate that. I don't even know if that was Pauline. Another red shell. <laughs> okay, at least we didn't fall off into the abyss. And then Lakitu takes more of our coins i will be thankful for that at least but it might have been donkey kong donkey kong is back in second place he is coming at me with a vengeance i do have a coin not my favorite thing to have but i can jump through there we'll try to get another item box and this one is going to be a banana i'll take a banana i haven't messed this up before we'll try one more time of course there's a red shell that just adds to the number of things you have to worry about and yeah, there we go. All right, I probably shouldn't have been talking about it so much. If I wasn't, maybe I wouldn't have messed it up. But you know what, Donkey Kong? I'm still going to beat you. You're not going to get this win. We have both a coin and a banana. That's actually really good. We just have to make this jump. Literally one of the easiest jumps of the game. It's kind of hilarious. And we will just come through here. We have our banana in case there are any red shells. But we don't need it. We make it to the end. Okay, that was pretty good. And it means we're onto the shell cup. 
with Wii Moo Moo Meadows. Now, Moo Moo Meadows is one of the most nostalgic stages for me. I remember playing this with my siblings, and also we would do video game tournaments in my city sometimes, and this would be a stage we played a lot during the Wii days. This stage, just so good. The music is so good. I love the cows, and hopefully I'll love it in this run as well. I mean, with people like Donkey Kong looking at me, I don't know about that. Just look at how he looks back at you when he gets in front of you. He's a jerk. But okay, we got the coin. I will keep out my banana. I don't always want to have my item trailing behind me because sometimes a CPU might come to your back and just steal it. I mean, I say steal it, but they would just get hit by it, but that's effectively stealing it. I want to use it for my protection, not to worry about any of the CPUs. But here, what I actually want to do for that jump is slightly go to the left. That way we hopefully don't always go into that grass, but that was a little better. And there's red shell. Thankfully, I have two items this time, which is really nice. You know, it's really sad in these speed runs. You can't use the red shell for their purpose. I love using me a good red shell normally, but here we just have to use it for defense. I mean, I guess it's okay. It does help. And I think that is a better jump. There we go get hit by lightning. It doesn't even matter. We make it over to the end. Good stage. Pretty good stage. Next up is GBA Mario Circuit. And this one's a pretty fun stage. I mean, there are some cool skips. They're not the biggest skips in the world. Oh, wait. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is a really cool skip in this one. I was about to say there aren't that cool of ones, but no, there is a very fun skip for this level. You wouldn't expect it because it's literally a Mario Circuit. But what I want to do right here is hopefully have some protection, go for a drift, and jump over those tires. If you do it, you just completely skip that section of the map and it just feels so good to pull off and it's also pretty easy to pull off honestly but also one thing i want to do is always drift into that jump just like before so we're already moving over to the right and we do have a bomb here again not my favorite item for protection but i will try this jump again pretty good again and it just gets you so ahead of the cpus these guys have no idea what to do in general if you're just driving well usually you'll be ahead of them but when you add in the skips too it gets crazy now boo will come through and steal my protection item which isn't my favorite thing in the world, but we should get another one right here. I mean, we would have gotten another one right there if it wasn't for our coin getting lost. And then there's also a blue shell. I didn't even go for the trick. And then we get a banana. Please do not get beaten by Donkey Kong. <laughs> Ah, uh, the speed red man. So on to DS Cheap Cheap Beach. And this one doesn't really have a big skip, but it does have a cool way of playing that I never knew about before I learned the speed run. I mean, first of all, it's just your standard stuff. We're going to take out our glider there. We're going to try to hug this wall as much as possible. Then we want to do a trick off of that, go slightly to the left, and then do a drift through the water. And that's actually faster than doing the land route. And it's faster by a good amount. You can see just how far ahead we are compared to all the other people. So we will take that. Then it's pretty much just standard driving going there. Might as well take the jump. That gives me an extra coin as well as a boost. There's going to be that red shell, two red shells, actually. You hate to see it, but they hit into each other again. Perfect. I love when the red shells hit each other. I mean, it does just make my life easier, but it's just so funny. It's like you really went for it and failed like that. But Squidward here, not my favorite thing. Usually in these stages, I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going, but a Squidward like that, where it's right in the center of the screen, it can really mess you up. Like I said, he was majorly buffed in this game. I don't know why they made him so good, but we will try this one more time. The one thing to worry about is the crabs. They can sometimes get in your way, but we actually did it pretty perfectly this run. And we are super close to lapping one of these people. I kind of hope we lap at least one person in this speed run. It'd be very funny. But yeah, another win. Donkey Kong is trying his best, but he's over a hundred points away from me. I would say I feel bad, but I do not. Up next is N64 Toad's Turnpike. In this one, it is a car level. I said before, I do not like levels with vehicles. And this one is a prime example of that. So what we want to do is stay as close to the edge as possible, then also get those coins and then lose all the coins I just got by running into a truck. The annoying thing about the cars is they're always moving. They're not one stationary object. So they're really easy to hit into if you're not careful. And that was a terrible move. I do not know what I was doing right there, but hey, it works out. I will also take these coins right there. Like usual, always trying to get up to 10. Now, the nice thing about the second lap is for this area, there will never be any cars, at least if you're in first. So we don't have to worry about them at all. But then once you get over here, there are a lot more cars. I don't even know where they're coming from. Like we're literally racing right here. Couldn't we have closed off this area? Why are there all these people? And I do also see a blue shell. 
not the best part. What I'm going to do here, just because of the blue shell, is actually take these boosts. That way, if I get hit by the blue shell, then I get a boost right after. It didn't really work out how I wanted to. And then we also got hit by a lightning, but it could have worked out. It could have. And I really don't want to take a tight path here because it is very scary, but okay. I had to thread the needle. But at this point, I'm just going to take this path. I do not care. I don't want to get hit by these cars. And another easy one. Now we're on to the banana cup and we have GC. And dry dry desert and i love dry dry desert this is a very cool stage and there are also some really cool tricks like this one where what we're going to want to do is jump right there we were supposed to get a boost into the jump and then that would have made us go faster i mean it was cool we jumped over it at least then through here we want to take kind of an outer path so we can get a couple coins i will also take my banana out and instead of taking any of those jumps you don't actually want to instead you can just go over to the right and get a couple of drifts which is going to be much better by the way i said there are multiple skips in this level i guess there really is only one but it's such a cool skip so i mean it's worth it it's worth multiple skips i really like doing it it also after the first lap it adds in that thing as well which is nice and squidward please get out of my way also a blue show you know I should just expect it at this point and a red shell thankfully i had enough invincibility frames after the blue shell so it didn't really matter i still have both of my bananas which will be nice for this red shell and we have another one in case donkey kong gets any ideas but then there's a lightning so there goes my other banana you know i didn't need it anyways also whenever you get lightninged and you have a straight path like that you do want to get a couple of mini turbos if you can so i'm just gonna go through there we'll see if we can get this one more time perfect and okay works out there's also a red shell though and a blue shell please tell me i have invincibility frames thank you and donkey kong also i was scared for my life right there he threw that green shell with like perfect accuracy this dude is out for my neck i know i've said it multiple times but he hates me what is his problem i mean i guess that's just what happens when you're second best losing to me every single time now it's on to snes donut planes 3 and this one has a really cool trick that i'm not the best at but i'm still gonna go for i mean i might as well what you want to do is drift into here you get a huge hop then you can use your boost as soon as you hit the ground and that's supposed to make you go faster i don't know if i do it correctly it's definitely not the fastest in the world but it's so cool you just kind of got to do it and other than that the rest of the stage is pretty much just some regular driving not too much to talk about but we get to try this for a total of three times that one not the best jump i've ever had and of course whenever you're off-road you do want to hop as much as possible because that just helps you go a bit faster and this is not a good situation i thought for sure i was gonna get hit by my own bomb there let's go for this jump one more time squidward comes in tries to ruin it for me kind of does but that's okay we can still do this one where we go through the water that is the best one of those that i've gotten this entire run so i'll take it and all we have to do is very carefully make it to the end there's a blue show at the end can i make it no i cannot and Lakitu comes through it takes my first place he did not deserve that one but next up we have n64 royal raceway which again i really like this level now first of all you don't want to get the full mini turbo there you only want to get stage two otherwise you're going to go too fast and then you'll just hit the wall it won't work out well so you only want the second stage for that one then other than that we're just going through i can get a couple of coins coins are really a bunch in this level which i very much enjoy the thing i like about this level is it's just really basic after all those hard tricks we've had to do for this run it's a nice one just to go with a regular level we don't have to worry too much instead we can worry about speed and not getting hit by our own bomb i told you it was going to happen for one of these races hopefully it doesn't happen for any others but i will take the double item box there give me something good a banana and boo also takes my coin and then we get hit by lightning and that stops the red shell from hitting. What was that sequence of events? See, I thought about doing the no item run, but there's just so much chaos in this one, and I kind of love it. It would have been a lot easier, and it probably would have been a lot less frustrating if I did do this speed run without items, but you know, you gotta embrace Mario Kart for what it is. All right, we'll just come through at the end. Hopefully not another blue shell. I literally see the blue shell. Why is there another blue shell? Why do I even say anything? But thankfully, we're fast enough so it's not able to hit us until after the race is over. And now for our 24th race, we have 3DS DK Jungle. And this one, at the start, what I want to do is get a couple of mini turbos, but not get one right there because sometimes it can send you at a really weird angle. And I absolutely love the music for this one and also this trick where what I want to do is get a mini turbo into that 
That way we can get the flying glider and then onto those. It's beautiful. I almost died right there though. That could have been bad. This music is so good. Donkey Kong music in general is so good, but other than talking about that, I have to slow down there. That way we can go through the shorter path and be a little bit faster. But okay, we'll just keep trying to do this. We're ahead of everybody else by a good amount. And we also have two bananas. The problem is anytime there's lightning, it doesn't just get rid of one of your items. It gets rid of both of your items, which is insane. But right here, of course, I want to go into a drift right into there. We can get another drift. We see the golden banana. It's looking beautiful. I'm not sure why Donkey Kong is allowing us to look at all this stuff. But again, I will slow down, get a nice boost. That works out perfectly. And just one one more lap we're continuing the same sort of stuff we honestly have not gotten that bad of luck yet hopefully it will not backfire me saying that it feels like sometimes it's just inviting the game to give you bad luck and we do get squidward which isn't the best but i'm able to go through him and he's not really that much of a hindrance usually he's not but every once in a while he will come in the perfect position to just destroy me like that lightning right there that almost hit me off the ledge that would have been bad now i think i should be good to make this again we are tiny, which makes it a little bit harder, but perfect. And there we go. Everybody is way far behind me. We will take that. And that means we're on the Leaf Cup tracks, starting with DS Wario Stadium. And I love the environment of this one. It's really nice that they gave Wario his own stadium. You know, it's looking nice. But what I want to do here is make that... I actually did not want to do a trick there. Sometimes I forget the best strategy just because, again, it's 96 tracks. And that also could happen. It's okay. We'll do better on our second lap around. But sometimes it's easy to forget every single thing you have to do just because there's so much to remember in this run. But I do get two red shells. Both of them hit me. I mean, one hit my banana. The other one just hit me. But not the worst in the world. I see Donkey Kong with that banana. He is looking at me. He's like, hey, run into this banana, why don't you? And Lakitu as well. I can have no friends in this game. Now he has a red shell. Donkey Kong is trying to murder me. I kind of messed up that jump. That is fine, though. I'll try to do this drift a little bit better, and that's what we were actually going for. Now, those fireballs are also a little annoying. They can very easily hit you, and unfortunately, I also don't have any items to deal with the red shell, and then we also fall off and oh dk you actually helped me for once maybe you're not that bad of a guy he's definitely gonna prove me wrong in like two seconds was that you dk i think that was you you know my grudge with dk it's gonna continue on at least we're finally in first place and <laughs> as soon as we get in first place there's a blue shell why is the blue show never used when someone else says at least there's lightning into the blue sh not a good time this game like specifically knows what i'm about to get in first place and it's like use it they save it until that exact moment i swear it has to happen we still took home the first place we are somehow way ahead of the other people i don't even know how they got that far away but not the worst in the world haha <laughs> next up it's gamecube sherbet land and this one love the environment i just love snow in general winter this is going to be a controversial opinion but winter best season it's just so good at least when you get snow and stuff if it's just cold and there's no snow I, it's not the best in the world but when you get snow winter is a top tier season anyways what i want to do right here is save up a boost then i want to use it there and that red shell kind of scared me there at least we dodged the red shell i'll show you the thing we were trying to do next time there are just a lot of boo boo really <laughs> Boo! He took my item from me that was protecting me from the red shell. That is so sad. The boo item is one of the funniest and one of the most aggravating items of the game, especially because I never get it. I never get to use it in a good way, but at least we can finally block this red shell and I will be taking that right path over there. That way we can stay above ground. It's just a little bit faster and we can get a tiny trick right off that. Now we will get hit by a lightning, not the worst thing in the world. I should be able to take a tight path there i really don't like this path just because we have so much speed so we're just gonna ram into the wall right there not too much we could do against that but at least we get a banana just in time to protect ourselves from that red shell that could have been very bad thank you game you're it's actually doing something nice for me for once we can hopefully get over that but we don't still not too bad that was a very messy stage for one that i said is one of my favorite looking stages that's kind of sad we're on to 3ds music park and this one i really like the mechanic as well because what happens is the piano actually gets played when you go on it it's very easy to make me pleased by these little features but just look how fun that is it's playing as you're driving 
time we got. It's just fun, man. Anyways, for this, it's pretty easy just drifting to normal places. And I will want to take that boost pad. That way we can fly over these annoying music note guys. The music note guys are a little annoying. Sometimes they can jump on you or just be in an annoying position. So I just like flying over them. It's just so fun hearing the piano. I, I Am I the only one that feels this way? I might be sounding like such a nerd right now, but it's just fun. It's just fun. Anyways, I do hear a blue shell. Not the best position. Somehow I did not fall off there. Uh, thank you, game. Honestly, that was a pretty good place to get blued. I think it worked out super well. I was not expecting it to. I was expecting to fall into the pit and then have Lakitu come, but oh, thank you, boo. I really could have used that coin so I don't get another coin right here. But no, the game just wanted me to get another coin. We are way ahead of everybody, at least. I do see Donkey Kong a little bit farther behind me. I don't think he really has any way to catch up to me unless I keep getting hit by these blue shells. I might be able to outrun it, but nope, we get hit by lightning into the blue shell. Actually, perfect timing. I'll take it. Not the worst thing in the world. And now for our 28th race, we have N64 Yoshi Valley. Now, I have really cool memories of this one because fun fact, a while ago, I think it was like a couple years ago at this point, I was in an Alpha Rad Mario Kart tournament. Obviously, I wasn't the best in the world, but this was the final stage of that Mario Kart tournament and my team was able to win. I think there were like technical difficulties that kind of helped us win. Not gonna lie. It was cool to win the tournament. Shout out to Alpha Rad. That was a fun time. Anyways, that is the general path we're going to have to take. This is a path I pretty much never take when I play casually, at least before I did this speed run, but you just want to get a really good drift, then use it right there. And if you do it correctly, you're not going to fall off. It is a little dangerous if you're not careful, but in general, not too bad. And we do have very good items, which will come in handy with this red shell. And I also do see a blue shell. You know, you gotta love it. I wonder what is the most amount of blue shells that have ever happened in a Mario Kart race. I don't think I'm that unlucky, but speaking of unlucky, I almost got hit by a banana on that, if you saw it. That would not have been good, but okay, we're making it to the end. We can get a double item box. By the way, one thing you might see me doing is if you actually press L before the item box ends, it gives you the items faster. It's a little weird with how it works. Sometimes it works right away. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but you can get your items faster. So if you're ever chased down by a red shell or something, that's something nice to do. And there we go. Another one. And King Boo won this one. You know, I'm saying won this one when by win, I mean second place. But to be fair for the CPU, second place is basically winning. They're not going to beat me. I say as I've already lost a race. <laughs> Anyways, on to DS TikTok Clock. Another stage that is cool, but it can go very very badly. There are these clock things which can very easily get in your way. What I want to do is charge up one of my boosts and not get hit by a red shell right there. I would have had a very good boost if that red shell didn't happen, but we don't actually want to take the glider part right there. Instead, we can just get a couple of jumps and there's going to be a red shell. I don't have the best angle there, but that is fine. We can make it in front of Lakitu. Not the worst first lap, but yeah, I just want to make sure I'm dodging all the moving things, which they can be very annoying. Like right here, you never really know where it's going to be. I mean, I guess if you're really good at this game, you probably would know, but I get the good boost that I was going for last time. We also get Squidward trying to do his thing, but it doesn't really matter. I can just jump through here. We have tons of speed going on there. And then, okay, what was that drift? Sometimes I'm really good at this game and sometimes I am not. Anyways, we're gonna get a really good boost into this section, which is gonna give us tons of speed, especially because it's just a straight section. Now for last lap, things have been going pretty good. Not the best. Honestly, it's been more my mistakes than anything else, but we can get the nice boost there. We'll go off that pad. We'll get a couple of jumps. And then through here, I wanna charge up again. I think I have a good enough angle. That way we can get the pink stuff up perfect and we make it to the end that's another win for us which means we're on to race number 30 and this one's going to be 3ds piranha plant slide and this is also a very difficult stage in 200cc the biggest reason for that is it's really tight whenever a stage is tight in 200cc it's so easy to run into things so it definitely makes it a bit difficult but as long as we're playing well it should be fine right there i want to make sure i don't have too much speed that way i don't fall into the pool and i mean i did get hit by something there but it was pretty Pretty good other than that. Here we also want to take a good drift. We can get a nice boost right there. Make it through that. And oh, I actually got the perfect mushroom. I have never actually used that shortcut before, I'm pretty sure. At least not on 200cc. But okay, pretty good with that. I just want to make sure that these tight corners don't mess me up. 
And we're pretty much always taking the right path. And oh my gosh, that red shell. Now, like I said, I want to slow down a little bit because I don't want to fall off. I don't want to get all mixed up. So we will break a little bit just for that section. And now we have a bomb. I don't love the bomb just like usual, but I mean, it's better than nothing. I accidentally threw it forward because I was trying to get that double item block. That would have been very funny if my own bomb hit me and also very sad. <laughs> I mean, I guess it has been an hour so far since I've started the speed run. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said this run would be at least three hours, but pretty good. We can make it through this section. It's always nice to take. I do get hit by that wall. Not my favorite wall in the world, but I can get a boost right there, which will give us a bit of extra speed. There is going to be a red shell right at the ending, and I do not know what that drift was, but we're not going to talk about it. We make it to the end. We completely demolish all the CPUs. You'll love to see it. Next up for number 31, we have Wii Grumble Volcano. This is one of the best stages in all of Mario Kart. I will stick by that. I mean, in general, I really like Mario Kart Wii, and I also really like Mario Kart Double Dash. Those are the ones I grew up with, so I'm always gonna love those stages. But this one is just such a cool stage. It's a really cool environment. And also, if you remember during the Wii days, there was a really cool skip you could do for this track. I remember when I was a kid trying to do that skip, and the first time I got it, it was just so amazing. Obviously, you can't do it for this game because they removed it. But yeah, that skip always felt so good to get. I don't really know the exact reason why it works, but I mean, it was cool. Anyways, for the actual race, we want to take a pretty standard path. One important thing is we do want to take this jump pad just so we can skip all that other stuff. The less I have to drive in this stage, the better, especially because it is slowly crumbling, as you can see. More parts of the stage, every lap are gonna get taken off. And that's just one of the things that makes it amazing. We will get a blue shell, which I don't love, but there's also going to be a red shell. Hopefully the red shell hits me first, but it actually hit my banana. I wasn't really thinking through that. That's okay though, same path and also a lightning, but at least I can get this double item box. That's gonna give me a horn. So if we do see another one of those blue blue shells at least we have something to protect ourselves i mean i guess i'll take it unless we get more lightning which definitely could happen but i will make it through these fire guys they're a little scary and we're kind of going through the off-road but not the worst thing in the world that's another one and next up we have n64 rainbow road now this is probably the easiest rainbow road but that doesn't mean it's an easy stage especially on 200 cc there are plenty of things that can go wrong especially at the end but the nice thing about this track is you get huge drift like you get to drift for so long it's super boost and also for that chain chomp you always want to go over to the right side it's super easy to get hit by them but just look at these drifts i mean you just go for so long it feels really good we get the pink one finally we release it get tons of speed we get two more chain chomps just bouncing their heads but okay that wasn't even the hard part i was talking about and of course we also get hit after that but that's fine it's okay now we do have a coin honestly not the worst thing to have because hopefully we'll get some sort of protection item out of one of these item boxes and we go in for another huge dra another blue show Thank you, game. So what you want to do for this part, as I was trying to say, is you don't want to get the full pink boost. Otherwise, it's going to be too much and can actually mess you up. And coming in at the end, can I hit him with the... No, oh, I tried to hit the person at first with my red shell. And then as karma, I got hit by a red shell. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Now we have GameCube Yoshi Circuit, and this track is really good since it has some good shortcuts. The first one I'm gonna try to do here, I kind of lost some of my speed, so it might not work, but you can actually make it over there without using a mushroom on 200cc. Hopefully I'll get it for lap two. Lap one wasn't my best try. And then after that, we'll come through here. 200cc on this map with all these sharp turns is kind of hard to control, but you can also hop over that, just giving us a little bit of extra speed. And those are the two main shortcuts that we'll be doing for this track. So I'm going to go for this again. I want to get a good amount of speed, not slow down, do a hop, and we just are barely able to make it to the other side, which lets us skip an entire turn. So it's definitely worth it. That's also such a fun skip to do in Double Dash. You do actually have to use a mushroom for that game. But this one is so much harder, and hopefully we can can get it a third time i do got a banana right now so we're in a good spot i that is a little too much speed i kind of crashed into there and okay we got one out of three at least maybe the red shell misses me of course it doesn't and there's also a blue shell coming you know 
This was not my best performance ever. I'm just happy I hit it once. And another red shell. At least I had a banana that time. But please, game, just allow me to play the game. That should be everything that's trying to murder me. And I thankfully did get a banana. The game wasn't like, here, have a coin for once in my life. So there we go. Oh, and actually, Pauline is rising through the ranks. I didn't even realize Pauline was second now. Donkey Kong is definitely going to have to catch up. But now we're on to Excite Bike Arena, which this map is really cool because every time it's going to change its layout because it's just like Excite bike. I remember actually playing this on my 3DS. Well, the original Excite Bike, obviously not this one. And yeah, it was a pretty fun game. Pretty simple. It makes for a simple track as well, but it means you get to do a lot of tricks on all these different jumps. So a pretty fun track too. It does look like, of course, we have another blue show. How many of these matches have I not gotten a single blue show? This is a short track too. You'd think that they wouldn't have to come every single time. At least we have something to protect ourselves from that red show. And also over those mud puddles, we can jump over them and like this grass it, it's not even really a problem it's kind of crazy super easy track at least for 200 cc you just have to play fairly well and there we go that's another one which leads us to dragon driftway and this track is one of the hardest for me especially on 200 cc just because of all these tight corners you have to worry about there is very little space to do things and you have to do things like make it through there that was actually a really good movement which donkey kong that was embarrassing he just ran into the wall come on man like he's trying to act so tough in this game it okay well <laughs> i ran into the wall too as soon as i've tried to do that of course i run into the wall you love to see it but like i was saying a bunch of tight turns that you have to take so we really have to use our brake button a lot in this stage otherwise we're gonna run into the grass like there once you get to the last part it becomes a lot easier though like we make it through there you have plenty of room then you get two tricks at this point and then there's this grass section where all you have to do is go around taking the left path and that's pretty much it so it's really just the first part that i find difficult i do love the music in this stage though i think it goes really well with it and just the general vibe of it but i don't love yet another blue show coming can i outrun it can we finally outrun a blue show no there's a red show and then also a blue show and somehow we dodged the blue show i didn't even know we would have that many invincibility frames but then there's lightning so it didn't even really matter <laughs> oh mario kart i love you so much never change but there we go we just barely beat pauline that time that was close which leads us on to mute city and the big thing about this track obviously is the music is amazing i mean the track's good in itself but the music in this track is really what makes it special for me. I love this music so much. And there are some tight turns in this one as well, but they're really not as bad as Dragon Driftway. And we can also go on those colorful things, and that will give us some coins. So we can very quickly get up our coin counter just by using that. And then we'll try to come through here. Of course, Donkey Kong hits me. Dude, why are you this bad? I was starting to like you a little bit better. I was kind of cheering for you to beat Pauline, but then you do that. So I'm gonna have to hit you back with a retro. And I love all the boosts and just the speed you get in this course it's a very action-packed one so i do enjoy that but like i said before the music is really what takes us up a notch now we have 10 coins we have the coin we have pauline trailing with a red shell of course i get hit by the red shell and then i also lose my coin so I can't even get a better item box. At least there was a double item box, which will guarantee we get at least one thing that's good. And it gives us a boomerang. I tried to hit Pauline with the boomerang and ended up accidentally using my red shell, but we were able to throw it backwards. So that's nice. The boomerang, that might be the first time we actually saw it. But of course, you get to use it three times because it's a boomerang. And coming up on the edge, Squidward, that is some terrible ink. Of course, it takes me out. I did say before, Squidward's ink is actually really bad at this game and i wouldn't be surprised if i died because of it but we still finish out with the first so not too bad next up onto the triforce cup we have we warriors gold mine which this stage very nostalgic for me i remember back in the past me and my friends used to actually play hide and seek on this map because you can get into some really weird areas at least on the wii version i'm pretty sure in this version lakitu will stop you from going anywhere you're not supposed to but you could go on like those wooden beams throughout the map it was really cool i recommend trying it out but what we're gonna do is actually take the right path here you might think it's faster to take the left path but even though it does have those boosts those don't really help us out and we have the easier path taking the right now we have some good speed going forward there aren't really even any skips for this track it's just about playing well and of course getting as many coins as possible i also don't like those bats coming through i don't think i've ever actually gotten hit by one of them but they're always a little scary man and i just want to play this well perfect thank you wario i appreciate that and then we will take our second lap still playing pretty perfectly we haven't 
gotten bad luck, haven't gotten a single red shell or a blue shell. There is going to be a Squidward here, but that's not the worst Squidward in the world. As long as I can still see the center of my screen, I will take the Squidward. And I... I, I didn't even know one of those bats could hit you. And also, I'm seeing a blue shell on the map. Why do I say these things? Why do I mention them? I should wait until after we're actually done. Maybe we could outrun it, but I don't think we're going to have enough speed. And yeah, it's hitting me. You know, at least it's not the blue shell, red shell combo. <laughs> but it's the blue shell, lightning combo. That's just as fun. Thank you, game. I really appreciate that. Now on to race 38. It's time for the SNES Rainbow Road, which this one is a very simple map, but it's extremely fun, especially on 200cc, because you can go super fast and just completely destroy the CPUs on this map. So we just want to play pretty well. I'm trying not to get hit by these thwomps. They do have some stuff you can trick off of, but for the most part, I'm not worrying too much about that because we don't want too much speed and just to go off the edge. But you can see just with some good driving already, we're completely ahead of everybody else. And maybe this could be the map where we lap someone. I still really want it. I just want to lap one person. You know, is that too much to ask? And it looks like baby Rosalina is pretty far back. So maybe she doesn't get a bullet bill or something that causes her to go extremely fast. But that is going to be lap three. Okay, my goal really is to get a lap, but there's a lightning. That's kind of going to make it harder. Lightning, very good for the people in the back. Not good for me because as in first, I am going to have to have it for a very long time. I see baby Rosalina and baby Mario right there. Just let me get one of them. They're literally right in front of me. And I, I think I beat her. Let's go. I finally did it. I lapped a single person of the hard CPUs. Let's go. Then it's time for Ice Ice Outpost. And in this stage, we want to take the green path. Donkey Kong also wanted to take it and knocked into me. But we're going to start out taking the green path. And then we're going to go onto the yellow path and not get hit by that green shell. Donkey Kong, I saw you looking at me. But switch back onto the green path. Do a trick right here and get back onto the yellow one. At least that's the way I'm comfortable with doing it. I'm not sure if it's actually faster in any way, but it's the way that's always been easiest for me to do. And I also have two red shells, which is nice. And they also had two red shells. I'm not sure what happened to the second one, but we will keep this out. And we also got a banana. We're getting super good item luck this run and not getting tons of coins for no reason. But here I accidentally went onto the green path and got hit by lightning. So there goes my item luck. You know, it was nice for a little bit. It's nice to dream, at least. It's nice to think, hey, maybe I'm not going to get tons of coins for no reason when I'm full up on 10 coins. And there's a blue shell, of course, and all it gives me is a bomb. What am I supposed to do with the bomb against a blue shell? Probably not much. And in general, the bomb is pretty volatile, as I've explained before, but hopefully I just won't have to use it. We do get a coin here. I would like a different item other than the bomb, but just for safety purposes, and in case we get a red shell, I am going to keep it and it looks like that should be fair. We will drop it. Hopefully it explodes into anybody, except they're way too far behind me. And there we go. Another one done. And this is the Triforce Cup. So you already know they have to end it with Hyrule Circuit, which is an amazing stage just because I'm a huge Zelda fan. Little known fact about me, but The Legend of Zelda is actually my favorite series of all time. I love pretty much every Zelda game. They're just all so good. And that's not really shown with that driving. Not exactly sure what that was. But what we can do right here is actually jump over that grass. And that saves us a little bit of time. So that's going to be a tiny skip. But all the different things they added to the map, like instead of the coins, they have rupees. Anytime you get an item box, it plays a different sound. It's just all so good. It comes together great. I wish we got a Wind Waker map or something like that. That would have been really cool. But even this, it's amazing. And it got Link in the game. So you can't really complain. Now we're going to try this turn to be a little bit better. I just want to make sure I have a good angle. And yeah, it's that easy. I'm not sure why I messed up so much on the first try. There is also going to be this blue shell. The red shell thankfully got destroyed. So good timing at that. And that is two laps done. We just have to play fairly well for the last one. I love this moment where the music starts picking up. It becomes really exciting now. And just one more time with this turn. This turn is always a little bit hard, but that was at least better than the first time you know not amazing but better than that we'll do the hop one more time able to clear all that distance there's going to be a red shell coming behind me but i have both the shell and the banana so we should be good to finish out the triforce cup now for the crossing cup of course it's going to start out with gamecube baby park 
which you already know this is one of the best stages it's first of all it's double dash you already know how much i love double dash and we have a cool strategy where you can actually cut these corners and somehow you keep your boost so you want to boost over then use it as soon as you make it to the other side and if you do this over and over again you go so fast it's actually insane I never knew about this on 200cc, I wish I did, because these other people just have no chance. The nice thing about Baby Circuit, or I don't really know if it's nice, but a thing about Baby Circuit is you never know how far ahead of your opponents you are. I was talking about lapping the CPUs before, but we have definitely lapped a few of them now. But you just never know, like, will that blue show cause someone to steal first? It doesn't look like it, surprisingly. And then there's a lightning as soon as I try to do my final turn, and then also a red show, a banana <laughs> front of me but we finish out somehow get the first i do not know how far behind everyone was kind of pathetic and next up we have gba cheese land which this one starts out with a couple of turns like this pretty simple turns all things considered except for pauline trying to crash into me over and over but for that part what we have to do is actually go into a drift over to the right before we get on that ramp just so we already have it set up that lets us go a little bit faster and this ending part of the stage is always the part that's hardest for me because there's the chain chomp right there and also other things but the chain chomp was <laughs> what actually took me out and then a bomb thank you pauline i really appreciate that and then also oh why are there so many fireballs daisy please i've tried to go fast here man but we are okay we can't catch up i know i'm just trying to go fast and actually speed run the game but i also got a mini competition i want to get as little second places as possible i know it doesn't really matter when you think about it because it's not going to change my speed run time but i don't want to lose to these people but there we go that was a much better turn making it through the chain shop not just completely getting destroyed pretty bad squidward ink right there kind of in terrible places and i also get hit by a red shell since i had nothing to protect myself but we are back in first we'll come around here get a double item box so i can just get rid of my coin because my coin counter is very low since i got hit by so many things but then there's also a lightning another lightning there goes my items we should be able to get a double item box kind of missed it please just don't be a coin game of course you're a coin we finished now i can't complain too much now we're to wild woods which is such a good stage first of all shy guys are amazing and this entire thing does center around shy guys which i really like and just the environment is so nice the music is so nice love hearing the shy guys in the background talking as the music goes it's awesome but okay for this one this is a good section where i can get a couple of coins missed most of them we want to get a couple tricks off there and we're not going to take the shortcut because it's pretty much just as fast to go this way i mean technically it would be faster to take the shortcut if you could do it well but a little too risky for me so we're just gonna keep taking this left path go through there see the shy guys swinging they're just having a great time i don't know if they're paid by the mario government to do this or if they're just like why are all these people racing literally in our town destroying the environment using terrible things like bombs on our places we're probably not the best people in the world but that's also not really my problem it's kind of the shy guys fault i mean they were the ones that signed off on this but there is going to be this blue show not the worst place for it to happen especially because of red shell but another red shell coming after me thankfully i do have that green shell i was a little worried about that one and coming to the end we get a coin literally the worst thing i could have gotten especially with a red shell right there i was hoping i'd make it for it and another red shell i thought pauline right there timed those perfectly to be able to take first place for me i was gonna be upset and now we have the animal crossing track which is a really cool one since the season around it can actually change the one we got this time is the fall season which pretty much any season i will take unless it's winter the only reason i don't like winter for this map is because it has more slippery physics so that's always not the best when you're doing a mario kart track but fall we will take that i mean it's also a great look for the place and we'll make it through there pretty simple track all things considered and it is kind of funny how how you go from really hype music to just this which is the calmest music in the world like this isn't exactly what i would call race music but i guess it is animal crossing and what music is going to be race music for that game and you know i'm gonna blame the music on that one that's why i just went off the path 
so terribly right there. Oh, by the way, you see Mr. Rossetti on this map. I love Mr. Rossetti. Did anybody else on Melee for the GameCube, you would get the Mr. Rossetti trophy, and then if you reset your console, he would get so mad at you. I know he also did that on the original GameCube Animal Crossing, but I remember specifically doing it on Melee. I could be misremembering this though, so let me know if anybody else remembers doing that, because I also remember there's like a playground rumor where if you did that, then you would get him as a character. Obviously, that part wasn't true, but yeah, I'm not sure if this is made up lore or real lore. Huh. Now we have the last cup of the original game. Before we get to the DLC, this is going to be the Bell Cup, and we start with 3DS Neo Bowser City. This is a pretty cool track. I do like the environment with it, and there is some fun spots where you can get a really good drift and just go super fast. But this part is a little bit hard, because what you want to do is not get too good of a drift, otherwise you're just going to fall off the edge like I did right there. That wasn't the way I was saying I was going to, but you know what? We're going to say that was on purpose because you saw the red show coming through. It definitely wasn't on purpose, but we can act like it was. You know, maybe the red show would have been even worse. But right there, you can get an insane drift to make it over there. There are some turns in this map, which make it kind of difficult. It's really interesting in 200cc because when you're playing 150, you pretty much always want to get the best boost off of a drift as possible. But for this one, if you get a really good drift, it can literally kill you. But I will go ahead right here we'll get the pink one because there's just going to be a straightaway we get tons of speed that's going to be nice and i see a blue shell coming behind me of course it is you know love to see that is donkey kong or pauling going to take ahead of me it looks like they weren't able to you know take that i was just that far ahead of them but you also see peach all the way in the back a lot of the times with these hard cpus for some reason there's one cpu that's just terrible at the game i mean i guess they're trying their best man but we should be able to end it off of course there's a red shell in the worst spot you know that is not fun there goes donkey kong i saw him emote on me he was very happy for taking that first place for me i mean fine dude i know you're trying to beat pauline i don't think you're gonna be able to next up is gba ribbon road and i know i've been saying i like a lot of the tracks in this game i don't really like this track i mean it's all right it's not the worst track in the world it's got some cool parts like this part i do enjoy it's pretty fun to race over but once you get to this next part which we're gonna get stopped by by a red shell but i do take out the banana okay that was fine but as i was saying i don't like this part because the track keeps moving up and down and that makes it really hard to drive in a good way if you're playing 150 you can get some boosts off of the moving ribbon but since we're playing 200 cc i don't really want to do that so it just makes it harder to drive and not the most fun thing in the world this part of the track is great i do love the environment the music like usual is pretty good but just once you make it over here it's so easy to just fall off so i take it pretty simple i'm not trying to go for too many drifts or to mess with anything too much i just kind of try to go straight through we have all the bowser cars love seeing those guys and i mean it's got a cute environment like look at the toads that are the fans they're like toy toads all things considered this shouldn't be the worst track for me but just that ribbon it really takes it down for me but some Surprisingly, I have been doing some really good driving here. So, you know, I mean, can't complain. I thought I was going to fall off at least once for this map. And we should be able to make it to the end. Boo comes in right at the end, making fun of me. But hey, that's what you get. And also look how far down below King Boo is. Like, Boo, you should not be laughing. Your king is doing terribly. Now, next up is Super Bell Subway. And this one is very hard for me. Like I said before, any map with vehicles, it's going to be difficult for me. And this one doesn't just have cars. Cars. It has these really long trains, which I just ran into the very first one. And then Donkey Kong coming through with the banana. I saw him laugh as soon as he hit me with that. That was just rude, dude. The trains aren't the worst thing in the world. You're usually able to dodge them if you're just playing fairly well, but I don't like them. Just any moving vehicle. You already know what I say about it, but thankfully we did have a banana to stop that red shell. I do appreciate that. It's also interesting how literally every single one of the spectators are always going to be either Yoshi Yoshis or Toads. You notice that in pretty much all of the maps, there's a bunch of Yoshis and Toads, but I guess it makes sense because it's not like you can have another Mario cheering for the people because what if Mario's in the race? I mean, to be fair, who chooses Mario for Mario Kart? Okay, there are a few people who like Mario for Mario Kart, but when you could choose somebody like Yoshi, come on, you gotta choose them. And so second time around was pretty good. If you're really good at this game, you want to take the tightest path but just with all the trains and things, you already see how bad just at driving without trains I am. So how am I supposed to drive in a good way when I'm trying to take the tightest path and also not make it through one of those trains? It's beyond my pay grade. And I accidentally just threw the green shell forward. 
Thankfully, I am able to get an item box that is going to be a banana. It does save me, but that was almost extremely embarrassing and kind of funny, not gonna lie. But now for our 48th track, we have Big Blue. And again, this stage's music is going to be amazing. Pretty much anything from F-Zero is gonna be amazing, except for me getting hit by whatever that item was. I hate when these guys are holding an item behind them because usually they pop it out just before you get behind them. You don't even have time to see it. But basically in this track, there's going to be a lot of these speed boosting things that you can take and we don't really worry too much about them because even if you go on the red ones you're still going to go pretty fast since it is 200 cc they also have those coin platforms where you can get more coins if you need and i tried to use the horn there and use it on the red shell but i very much messed up it was hard because i couldn't really look behind myself just because i had to pay attention to the course and that definitely wasn't the time to use it i could have saved myself if i was a bit smarter but you know what happens oh by the way this is one of the stages where every single lap it does change which is always nice to see you know a little bit of differentiating and i have been doing pretty good we do get a banana i saw a red shell it's still coming after me but i should be fine except then there's a lightning and another red shell. I mean, at least the second red shell didn't matter that much, but this is probably the hardest part where you're just trying not to fall off. It's a little bit easier since I actually got lightninged and I get a coin instead of something I need. And then I get a blue shell in the worst spot. And <laughs> at least it takes out Donkey Kong too. You know, we got out together, but that is going to be our 48th track so we're officially halfway through the speed run and Pauline was able to be Donkey Kong for this first set of races because you can't actually do every single race in a row you can only do 48 at a time so we're gonna start with the regular tracks and then go back in for the DLC so yeah second part of the race let's go and this one starts out with the Golden Dash Cup and Paris Promenade which this is a course I like there are a lot of Mario Kart Tour tracks in this DLC pack which I know a lot of people don't really love but some of these are really fun the big problem about them is that they're kind of hard to tell where you need to go in some of them especially when you're playing it for the first time but since i have plenty of practice in this i do have at least a general idea of the places to go as you can see by me taking that path and that's going to be the first lap now one cool thing about this is either on the second or third lap for all of these tour tracks it's always going to change up it's still the same general track but there is going to be something different once we make it a little bit farther instead of taking the straight path what you want to do is actually go over to the right that way we can get a couple drifts in get a couple boosts and then through here we do get some squidward ink not the best but also not the worst what is the worst though is another blue shell you know might as well start out the second part of the race with a blue shell and this time you will see the arrows are telling us we need to take the right path so it's going to be completely different it has these two boosts we're not going to take the glider one because we might as well go here and you also saw there was literally someone on their second lap that we saw which is actually really cool to see the people earlier in the race you know probably demoralizing for them but it feels really good for me now we'll finish out that get a nice boost probably a little bit too fast of a boost than what i would have wanted but still pretty good and that is the first race so it's now a clean sheet we'll see if donkey kong can do as well this time next up we have 3ds toad circuit which a lot of people don't love this track and i mean fair enough it is a circuit track it's going to be pretty simple but I actually do enjoy it. I like all the toad balloons just flying in the sky. And then it's also one of these tracks where it's just about doing the best racing you can. Instead of taking the skips and doing all of that, we just have to play well. And I always respect those kinds of tracks. At the beginning, you will see I really focused on getting up to 10 coins because since this is such a simple track, coins are even more important just so we can get that extra speed boost. And we also have some pretty good items. I mean, a banana and a coin, not the best, not the worst thing in the world. But even just with this very simple, simple driving we are way ahead of Donkey Kong I'm actually surprised Donkey Kong is doing this well for the second set of races because the characters do switch up and that could have meant that Donkey Kong was the person who is in the very back which would have been hilarious but no he knows he's trying to keep our rivalry together I don't know if you could really call it a rivalry after that first race but you know it's not the worst rivalry in the world now we have Choco Mountain and this is a cool stage because there's at least some cool stuff I can do first of all you do have to do very good turns this one is really just about memorizing the track and we're going to use these tiny hops to make sure we're going in the right direction just like i talked about earlier that's always really important for 200 cc so definitely if you want to learn this speed run or just get better at 200 cc practice it not the worst thing in the world but after we make it through that boulder section there will be a red shell coming behind me 
but we have some pretty good driving and that's going to be lap number one done and i like this stage first of all music really good and then also another pretty simple track which is really just about your driving ability and playing well like right here after the glider section we do want to start our drift before we even touch the ground that way we're not going to run into any of the walls we can get a nice super drift right there i would have preferred the double item box but it gave me a coin doesn't matter anyways because we got a blue shell it would have been great if that was the third lap and we were just able to outrun the blue shell but of course this game doesn't want me to do that and you know since this is a new set of tracks and a new set of races i'm gonna try to hold on to getting first place for as long as possible again we did get a couple second places before but i do not want to lose any of the first places imagine i just played perfectly this entire time haha <laughs> it's definitely not gonna happen there is gonna be a red shell and the boo takes my bomb I get hit by the red shell. What a finish. What a finish, man. Now we have Wii Coconut Mall. And you already know this is amazing stage. First of all, it has the music. It has the meme music. Everybody loves the Coconut Mall music. But what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to take the slower path just so I can get a better drift in 200cc. Going that way doesn't really lose too much time since we're already going so fast anyways. So I don't really worry about it. Then once we make it to this section, we will see these crazy drivers. What are you doing? They were spinning with their car. Come on, man. That shouldn't be legal. Where's the government? Who's telling these people that they can't do this? That should not be legal, man. But this time we actually actually do have a better path that way we can go a bit faster we also have something to protect ourselves for the red shell and we get another banana before the next red shell so that's nice now hopefully these drivers aren't doing what what do you guys stop stop you know this i had squidward ink in my eyes i could have literally just died there and you guys are just playing around you're acting like this is just a fun time i remember in the wii version it was the me's that would be driving and me and my siblings would always remark about how they're crazy drivers and like how did they get their license how is this legal it was also really fun seeing your me's i really hope for the next mario kart they add that back i know nintendo hasn't really been using the me's as much but they're just a fun character Finally, though, we don't get hit by those crazy drivers. They suck at their jobs. Shy guys, you need to stop. And that is going to be our win. Next up, it's time for Mario Kart Tours Tokyo Blur. And this is probably one of the fastest tracks in the entire game. It's a really simple track. It's very quick. And you can see we just get a nice boost right there. We go under the bridge. We hopefully get something to stop this red shell. Thank you. And then we make that turn onto this bridge. And we're already done with the first lap. I'm pretty sure you can actually get this stage done in like a single minute. If you don't have any CPUs throwing items at you. But hey, we did get the horn power that is actually perfect so if there are any blue shells we should be able to protect ourselves also right there i am going to do a trick and you know how i was saying the blue shell unfortunately we had to use it right there but it didn't matter anyways we got lightning as soon as i get something nice the game says no you're not allowed to keep that for too long we do not want you to have that but now on this part we get onto a slightly different section where we're going through the highway i don't know who set up these thwomps like you literally cannot use this highway for anything other than racing because it, those would literally kill people but we make it through to the end like i said super fast track and that's going to be done with another tour track. So it's time for DS Shroom Bridge. And you already know, this is another track where we have drivers. There are these people driving their cars. This is probably one of the easier tracks to dodge them, at least at the beginning. Once we get to the second half of the track, it gets a bit harder. Also, I probably should have predicted that Kamek would have used the red shell right there. I literally saw they had it. I don't know why I didn't just put my banana behind me. Maybe it's the exhaustion starting to happen as I just get hit by a car for no reason. But this part is really hard in 200cc to dodge all the cars and make it through these turns. It's very easy to just run into one of those, but pretty good driving right there. And Kamek, I need you to get away from me. At least I have two protection items right now. I'm trying to get some good boosts. Here, I want to save up one of my boosts so I get a pink boost. I use it a little bit early right there. But there is a nice trail of three coins there, which I always do appreciate and there goes both of my protection items even if we didn't get booed we also got lightning which is definitely you know a thing at least it makes this section a lot easier when you're tinier i mean you don't want to get lightning because it does make us slower but it also makes it a little easier so it's a trade-off and then I got hit by another car. It's not even the driver's fault. I'm literally running into their backs. But coming in at the end, we have this tunnel part. We can make it through there. We have Squidward, kind of the worst place for him to happen. And then a red shell and a blue shell and a green shell. How many things are going to hit me? Remember when I was trying to say that I wanted to keep my first place as much as possible? Kamek, please get hit by a car. Of course not. Second place. <laughs> 
nice. Next up, it's time for GBA Sky Garden. And this stage has a really cool shortcut you can do on 200cc. Other than that, it's a pretty simple track. But once we get to the shortcut, that's where it really starts getting special. Now in 200cc, making that jump is really weird. Sometimes you have too much speed and it just messes with you. But here's the shortcut. What we want to do is go over there, use our boost as soon as we land, do a couple of hops, and that saves so much time, it's actually insane. It's a super easy trick to do too, so it's definitely worth it if you're playing on 200cc. You might just have to practice it a few times. But it's also nice since this is a very short track, so we just get to do it over and over again. I'll go for it again. Make sure you release that boost as soon as you hit the ground, do a couple of hops, and we also have a horn which is perfect timing for once in my life. I might actually stop a blue shell. No, there's a red shell right there. As soon as I was going to be able to, you've got to be kidding me. And then I tried to hit the red shell and the blue shell together and ended up getting hit by the red shell and destroying the blue shell for no reason. It would have been so cool. I could have finally used one of those for its intended purpose, but the game did not want me to. At least we finish out another quick track. Now for this race, we have Ninja Hideaway, which is actually one of the coolest tracks when you try to do skips. The first one we're going to do is take this bottom path. And what we can do is boost into the wall, then hit those piranha plant things. Normally, if you're going too fast, then you'll get hit like you would if you were getting a red shell. But if you hit the wall first, then it doesn't do any damage to you. And you can save like half a second. Now, second, I was trying to get onto the top path so we could do another skip but kind of messed that up, so we'll try it the next time. And we can also take this boost, so this time we go onto the top path, and that way we don't have to do the piranha plant thing. The reason we want to do it sometimes, though, is because you're not always going to get to take the top path. Like right here, that might come down, and yeah, got pretty bad timing for that. Went a little too slow. But we should be able to get a boost off of these things to make it over to the top. There we go, and I fell off. <laughs> okay, I definitely will get to show you this trick on the final laugh. I'm a little worried now because I could definitely see myself messing it up, but that's fine. And then we fall into a pit. <laughs> Look, two hours in, a lot of Mario Kart tracks done. I lost count at this point. I have one trick that will be very cool if I can pull it off. We'll just see if I can pull it off. So we're taking top path again. There is going to be a blue shell, kind of the worst timing for it to happen. But at the very least, I should be able to make the top path. I don't. That's fine. <laughs> not perfect you know at least we get to see the shy guys they're doing pretty cool and this time we'll actually make it up here it's really not that hard to stay up there i don't know why i was having so much trouble but we want to stay up here and basically what we want to do is a drift into not running into that wall i probably won't have enough speed to do this but if you do you're able to make it over to that roof skipping a section of the map I did not do it the best, and we also got a fourth place, but it would have been really cool. It would have. So now we're on to the Wave 2 Cups, and we have Turnip Cup to start out with New York Minute. In this stage, it's another tour track, so of course, it's going to be pretty simple at the beginning, except I messed up. Even with its simplicity, I lost my drift right there. But it's a nice track because you're going through the parks, you see the entire city. I feel like there would be much more Toads and Yoshis if this was actually New York City. Like, I've been to New York once, and it was so crowded, it was insane. So yeah, I don't think there would be this little amount of people just hanging out, having a good time on the bench. And I also got hit on the bench and then a red shell, of course. You know, it was kind of fun right there. You did get to see just how ginormous the toads are in some of these stages. For some reason, they blow up their size by a bunch. And they also blow up how annoying Donkey Kong is because he threw a banana directly at me. I know he was planning. He knew that would hit me. Donkey Kong has definitely not gotten rid of our grudge. He's doing a lot worse. He's not even playing well this time. So maybe that's part of the reason he's really upset at his performance. But all right, Kamek, I am not going to lose another time to you i have a red shell please hit you how are you that fast but we were able to take the first you know i'ma take it the little victories man the little victories next up we have snes mario kart circuit 3 which this is a mario circuit level and it's also a snes level so obviously it's gonna be pretty simple in general i just want to get good boosts and as long as i'm doing that i'm gonna be pretty good at some moments i will slow down like on that corner just so we can keep our speed there is gonna be a red shell and this part is probably the hardest part of the entire track but even that part's not that hard and yep that's gonna be lap number one this one is another one where it's pretty much just about playing extremely well and i know some people probably don't like this track because they're like they're much cooler tracks that could have been added in and finally do we actually can we actually get rid of a blue shell i think that was the first time in this video that we did that 
thank you. For once, we didn't get hit by a red shell directly after there was a blue shell or something like that messing with our timing. It finally happened. You don't know how long I was waiting for that. I don't even care that we just got lightninged. It doesn't matter. We make it to the edge. So we're on to N64 Calamari Desert. And this is both such an iconic track and a really cool one in Mario Kart 8 because they added some cool new features to it. Now, the first lap is going to be pretty simple. We do get to see the train just kind of doing its thing. You just got to do some good mini turbos, get some tricks, get some coins, try to get all the way up to 10. But the second lap is where it starts to really get interesting because you can see off into the distance that the track actually changed. I don't know how they got the money to do this and how how they got the permits to do this like there is an active train and you're trying to hit us with it but we actually get to play on the train tracks which is incredibly fun such a cool addition to this track i mean it, it's just a good one there's not too much else i can say about it we can go around the train we do get some lightning and also a squidward which will obscure our vision but we are actually on lap three you might notice at this point and yeah just back to the regular track so that was pretty cool just a nice addition i really like for some of these retro tracks they added a little something to it Sometimes it's not the greatest addition in the world, but at least in this case, I do really enjoy it. And that is going to be that one done. Now we're on to DS Waluigi Pinball. And I mean, it's a Waluigi stage, so you already know it's going to be pretty fun, especially with the pinball aspects. Did anyone else ever play the games like Pokemon Pinball and the Mario Pinball games and even Sonic Pinball? There were some really good pinball games that came out. I'm pretty sure almost nobody actually played them, but they were really fun, surprisingly. Like, I recommend trying them out if you ever get a chance. There's some good games. Anyways, for Waluigi Pinball, it's pretty simple besides for this part where there are a bunch of these pinballs just going all along the track and it is very easy to get hit by them. There's not too much we can do to speed up that part. We just kind of have to go straight and hope that nothing bad happens. And speaking of bad things happening, of course, there is going to be a blue shell right there. He's coming through. I'm trying to get some good speed to make it as least impactful as possible, but it's going to do some pretty good damage to me. At least I do have a green shell. You know, that is nice to have at least some sort of protection item. Hopefully we're not going to get lightninged. That wouldn't be fun. But okay, coming through. Hopefully there are no pinballs. I am always scared of those coming through because you can just get jump scared by them completely destroyed it just happens sometimes but i do see another blue shell in the exact same place it happened for the last lap yay thank you game and a red shell as well because you know we couldn't just give you one thing but you do get to see some cool thing about this map is now they're actually going to add in some more pinballs to the regular sections we get ahead of it pretty quickly but that's also a fun part and we can come through here we have a banana which is nice and i just have to hope one more time we don't get bad rng but we do. I almost got hit twice there. That would have been kind of funny, but at least we made it through. I mean, it's not the worst thing that could happen to you, and we do a pretty tight turn there. Finish out with another map. That's the turnip cup done, which leads us to the propeller cup with Sydney Sprint, and I actually really enjoy this map. People don't always love the tour ones so much, but this one's a cool one. They have all the amusement park rides going on, and it's also a very cool environment, and it's just colorful. You know, it's just a good time, but once we make it to this section, I will want to get a couple of coins just for the speed up. I do see Kamek ahead of me. I don't enjoy that. But we just go on the highway here. That is going to be the first lap. We'll do a nice trick there. And now at this point, we're kind of going through the park. They really like these park areas where everybody's sitting on the benches. They're all alone, though. There's nobody sitting with their friends, which is kind of funny. Like, it's just people sitting there kind of enjoying the race. I mean, to be fair, it's probably a pretty fun race to watch. Actually, would it be a fun race to watch? Because you're only really seeing a very short part of it. I mean, you do have the potential of seeing somebody literally die because imagine they get hit by a bomb right in front of you. But I guess you're also risking your life because you probably could get hit by a bomb. I mean, I guess it's just why people enjoy Mario Kart. Always the threat of actually dying. On to the third lap. We're going to get back over to this bridge section. Of course, what we want to do is take these jumps. That way we can just get a couple of boosts. There's also going to be this red shell. Don't like seeing him. We make it through the amusement park. That would actually be a pretty cool deal if you both got to go to the amusement park and you got to watch the race but i did not even know that could happen i didn't know that you could go off to the side of that window and not make it through but it somehow worked out by not getting hit by the blue shell so not the worst thing that could have happened and then next up we have gba snowland which this is a stage which gives you the slippery physics so it does make it a little bit more difficult especially when you're trying to do drifts you just have to make sure that you slow down a bit 
press the B button a little bit, but we can make it through there. It's pretty much just about taking these tight turns as tight as possible. And for that one, I what I should have done is kind of held on to my brakes a little bit more, and it would have been a bit faster, which is always kind of a funny concept, going slower to go faster, but it does make sense because if you go onto the off-road, it's always going to slow you down much more than if you brake a little bit. But you already know this is a winter stage, so even though I don't love the slippery physics, I love the winter atmosphere. Snow is just so good. I will die by this opinion. Snow alone makes winter the best season by far, and also kind of got lucky there. We got hit by a red shell but then there was also a blue shell so not the worst thing that could have happened but then there's going to be this and then a boo and then a lightning and everything could have went bad but it's also really cute seeing all the penguins just kind of hanging out doing their thing and we should be able to make it home with a win i know okay not the best but at least because i got hit by the banana it stopped the red shell i mean i did have a protection item so it would have been better not to get hit by the banana but we'll take it another win for me so next up that leads us to Wii Mushroom Gorge and it's a Wii stage you already know that I love it and this one is especially near and dear to my heart because I remember when I was a kid me and my brother and sister we would try to grind out the ultra shortcuts for this one I don't know if we ever really got the ultra shortcut but at least it was really fun to try to get this one so really good memory for me and just in general this is a very nostalgic stages I love bouncing off the mushrooms I love pretty much everything about this one now we'll make it through the first lap I do see a red shell we might actually be able to outrun it okay almost at least i'm there we fell off into the gap i was about to say at least we're not gonna fall off and then of course it happened but i do want to of course get a couple of tricks and you can actually trick off of that green mushroom if you time it perfectly it's a bit difficult to do but at least i'm gonna try every time then we'll do a couple more here try to make it through these goombas the goombas just died I didn't even know that the lightning killed the Goombas. I guess I did know that. I've just never seen it before on this stage. But coming through to the end, we'll take that turn, take another one. We do want to drift into there. And if you do it perfectly, you can get a mega boost, which is always nice on this stage. Oh yeah, by the way, there is both the top path to the left and the right path, which is going to take lower. At least the one I take is the right path. I'm pretty sure it's the faster one. But there we go. Make it through those guys. Put down a banana. And that's going to be a nice and easy win, which will lead us to sky high sunday and this is a cool stage i do love ice cream so maybe that does affect my <laughs> perception of it ice cream best dessert maybe a controversial opinion i'm not sure if it is let me know in the comments do you think ice cream is the best dessert in my opinion it's just so good because the thing about ice cream is it goes on any other dessert like it's not only good alone but you can put it on brownies you can put it on cake you can put it on literally anything even some sweet treats like i've had nerds in ice cream before and that was good what we want to do for this track is just take a drift right there instead of trying to get all of those racing things we do get lightning there not the worst part for it to happen because now i can get a couple of tricks off of these things even though we will be going a little bit slower and i'm trying to get the coins to the best of my abilities it's a little bit hard especially going on 200 cc but pretty good first two laps once you make it to this section it's pretty much just a straightaway so not too much to worry about oh but also i do want to go in that ice cream cone you can both get a trick and an extra item if you do need one but now we come through here we'll get a couple more tricks i do have 10 coins so i'm not gonna need any more but here comes a red shell and a blue shell i think the red shell just somehow got destroyed sometimes that just happens and i'm not really sure why can we outrace the blue shell please gabe just give it to me and no and there there's the red shell the red shell never stopped apparently but i think it got destroyed by the blue shell so that works at least and that'll be that race done now onto the rock cup we have london loop which i actually really enjoy this stage because of chain chomps the chain chomps in this stage make it really fun even though it is just a tour track sometimes the tour tracks can be pretty good the annoying thing about this stage is a lot of the arrows on this track are a little confusing to try to get the hang of at least the first time you're playing through but we're just going through right at the start the first lap probably the weakest out of all of them but once we get to the second lap first of all we'll see in this park this chain chop he is so big it's actually insane how big these guys are compared to the regular people like if you walk by that you're getting eaten and you're going to die but after making it through those two people we can take one of these jumps we'll also make sure i hopefully don't hit that many corners and i do see a blue shell kind of a bad part for the blue shell to come in i guess there's no real good time for a blue shell to come in except for that we actually got lightning right before the blue shell but then we also got a red shell so any type of luck we just got just got countered out 
But now for the third lap, this is the most fun part where all the train champs are roaming around the city and it's a really cool part altogether. I mean, it's probably terrible for London. I do not know how much the Mario Kart community paid the London City Council to allow them to do this. Like, is this even legal? These chain shops could literally kill all these toads. I don't know why they're not going after them. Meanwhile, London's like, eh, I guess you can have your race. They must have been paid a lot of money. But we're coming through to the end. We do have the banana to stop that red shell. And this should be the last bit of the track. That's that one done. And that leads us over to GBA Boo Lake. And this one is another very simple track. I mean, it is a Game Boy track, but it's pretty fun. I like the environment. I just love all the boos. Boos are such a cool enemy to have in the game, even if they are really annoying sometimes, especially in Mario Party when they take your stuff. I mean, they're good when you're taking other people's stuff. But when they're taking yours, it's not a fun time. Anyways, we do finish out with that water section. We're able to make our first lap. Pretty short track, pretty simple track. It's just about playing well. There is that place, which I could have just... Just fell through if I wasn't careful. Sometimes I'm a little scared about that one. And there's all these skeleton fish just going through. But I like this part where you get a couple of boosts, you make it to the end. And I'm pretty good driving so far, but Squidward's coming out. Okay, Squidward could be bad for this track. I gotta make sure I don't let that happen. Yeah, I should have known something like that would happen. Squidward, how many times now in this video has he messed me up? He shouldn't be this bad. I remember during the Wii games, we used to make fun of how bad of an item it was, but it actually does so much in this game. Still though, we should be able to finish out there, get one more coin, and that's going to be that race done. So we're on to 3DS Rock Rock Mountain, and this is another track I like. I like a lot of the tracks in this game. That just goes to show how good of a game it is. But what we're going to do, we start right here. We have to get some kind of good turns especially that really tight turn right there and this leads us on to a glider section the glider section is also nice because we can get a couple of coins and then as we make it right here what we want to do is drift into there so we can get the cracked angle do a trick and get a nice speed boost then boo comes kind of the best time for him to come since i can get a brand new item right away but now right here what we want to do is actually not go onto the track we want to fly as long as possible that way we don't have to go through any of the turns and that's pretty nice any turns that i can skip on 200 cc are definitely going to be worth it because sometimes it is bad and then we get hit by a blue shell and then a lightning as soon as we get on the glider section i'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever been on this part of the map before i mean i knew it existed i just have never gotten that unlucky which is kind of funny but we can make it through those trees thankfully most of them don't actually have hitboxes if you go through the leaves if you hit the wood though then it will stop you and then we have this boulder section i really enjoy that as well it makes for some fun gameplay and of course we're gonna be going over just skipping all the turns it feels so good to do that in 200 cc but this cave one more time just making sure i take a tight turn get a nice boost off of that and i'm gonna use both of my items since there was an item box right there so i might as well get two new ones and i probably got the worst selection of items possible and then that happens a coin and then a bomb is not what i want to see at all but we should be fine here i don't think anybody's using any red shells and even if they do it won't be too much of a problem and you know what i'm gonna die and <laughs> I thought I okay what I was trying to do there was die into the finish line but I guess I went too far off and lost a little time I'm definitely an amazing speedrunner what can I say anyways we maple treeway time another one of these amazing Mario Kart Wii tracks and another one that has a really cool ultra shortcut I recommend checking that one out I've actually done a video doing this ultra shortcut before and it's a really fun one to do as well but we start out kind of unlucky getting hit by a red shell and at this point you have to be very careful I slow down a ton right there because it's super easy to fall off and just lose all your speed then we see Kamek right here I am not going to take that jump instead we'll just take the inside path because that's pretty much always going to be faster than taking the jump just since you spend so much time in the air finally we can come down here and we're going to get a couple of tricks off of these routes which is going to end our first lap there's also the shortcut over to the right that you can take but i don't even know if that one's really a shortcut i think it does give you some extra items but i don't think it really saves you too much speed and since we don't have a mushroom it's definitely not worth it but we'll come through here this time i'm gonna have a good amount of speed i have to be very careful not to die a nice thing is it does give you the pink boost so that's always gonna be nice and yeah pretty good gameplay so far besides this red shell happens at a pretty bad part i saw kamek that was disrespectful but we get another bomb here i don't know why this game is loving giving me bombs right now literally give me anything else besides the bomb game i would appreciate that also not a coin okay i was a little scared that it was gonna give me a coin after i said that but i'm gonna try to place this bomb down and maybe hit kamek it didn't work 
But if it did, it would have been really funny. Now we'll come through here. We have a banana and a coin. That's a pretty good setup. Not the worst thing I could have. We'll take another one of these tight turns. It's kind of hard not to go onto that jump on 200cc, but I do see a blue shell. Worst time for it to happen. Please do not happen while I'm in the air. Can we make it to the end? No, we can't because we get electrocuted and then that happens. Am I going to lose this race? I think I'm still slightly ahead of Kamek and thank you. That would have been a very sad finish if I didn't win there. And that leads us on to the Moon Cup with Berlin Byways. And this is another car level. At least it's kind of a car level. This section does have cars, which isn't the most fun. What I have to do is take a very careful path to not hit these guys and we just go through there, thread the needle. Then what I want to do right here is not actually get a boost right there. Instead, I want to save my boost for this part, hit a light pole, I guess. But yeah, that way we don't just go into the train, lose a bunch of time, and there we go. It looks like we're pretty good for this first lap. Looking good. Now for the second one, it's going to add in this glider section, and I also want to see if I can get a coin right there off of that dude's surfboard. I don't know why so many people are carrying surfboards on their car. It's in such a weird setup too to have the surfboard. Like, you're literally inviting yourself to get tricked off of, but to be fair, maybe that's what they're going for. Again, maybe the Mario Kart Commission is paying these people to drive. It's like, by the way, if you hit our racers, that's extra money for you, but pretty good so far uh, we have to make it through this park the park is a little bit weird because there are some tight turns and i did not play that the best there is one person ahead of me but oh my gosh that bomb just scared me so much i thought it was going to give me a crazy angle hit off the thwomp and go directly into me i would not put it past the game to do that but here what we want to do just take this turn this part is probably the hardest part with that statue you have to go around it's very easy to just hit the wall and we also get squidward which is a very bad time for that to happen, but I was actually able to surprisingly stay alive. Then of course there is a blue shell, but it also hits my enemy. He's still gonna be able to take home the win, but then there's also a lightning. <laughs> So many times at the end of the races, it gives us so many things over and over. And that leads us to another one of the best stages, at least in my opinion, DS Peach Garden. Now, right at the beginning, what we're going to want to do is jump over that section instead of driving around it. And I didn't get the best boost right there, but if you do it correctly, you can stay in the grass for a very small amount of time and just save a ton of time. Now, what we want to do on this turn is kind of get a boost right before it happens. Then I'd like taking the left path. That way it lines us up for a right drift and then another left drift, which works out perfectly. Perfectly. There are the Monty Moles in the ground, which are a little annoying, but we were able to ignore them. This time for the second lap, there's going to be a chain shop that comes through. I don't know who is taking care of Peach's garden, but they need to be paid less money. You definitely can't go through this thing. You're going to get eaten alive, but I guess maybe those are like the guard dogs. So actually that kind of makes sense. I mean, it's not like the guard dogs have ever worked when Bowser's come through, but at least they're trying something. Now we will get a blue shell. That is okay. I'm way ahead of everybody else, so not the worst place for it to happen. And now here's where the track actually switches up. This is a very cool part of the track. Like I've said before, I really like when they do this stuff where for their third lap, or at least for one of the laps, they change something up like in Calamari Desert. For this one, we're actually gonna be driving through the track backwards. You can see all the people and I didn't get a trick there and then I got hit by that and then I got hit by a lightning. Many things happening at one part. I do like going through the back. It changes up the dynamic a little bit. It's fun. Now right here, I will get an item and that is going to be a banana. I definitely thought it was going to be a coin and we're going directly through Princess Peach. I don't even care if that messes up your shrubbery. You're gonna have to pay more people to do it we'll try to do this jump one more unfortunately i did not get a boost into it so not the best thing in the world but still able to finish out that map pretty easily way ahead of everybody else now we have mary mountain and of course this is another one of my favorite ones at least visually just because there's snow and it's also christmas there's literally a christmas sleigh taking the presents i love the environment but what we want to do is actually not take the top path of where that train is going instead what we want to do is take this bottom and i have to be very careful right there this snow section is a slippery section so i'm definitely using my brakes here because it's easy to lose control go into the off-road which obviously is not a good thing but a nice thing about this track is there's the train above us and it's sending down coins which is a really cool feature of it but going through here again we will take this bottom path it's just the best one to take at least in my opinion it might be slightly faster to take the top path i'm not sure but the bottom path gonna be safer and usually i think it's going to be faster now i have to be careful accidentally hit that rock that's kind of what we're looking out for. Like I said, you can lose control on these slippery surfaces. It's sad because I love the winter maps, but they are a little annoying sometimes. We will get through that 
that second part though there will be a squidward honestly not the worst place for him to happen because this is a very easy part of the track and we got our banana for protection i'm just hoping no more blue shells we've seen so many i don't need to see any more blue shells for the rest of my life i'm not gonna lie but can i get that turn my worst one yet by far <laughs> it's kind of funny how every single time it just got a little bit worse it's probably going along with my deteriorating mental state look i'm surviving kind of but this is a lot of tracks. This is definitely a lot of tracks. And next up to make us three-fourths of the way through this speed run, we are now on 3DS Rainbow Road, which I really like this stage. Just in general, Rainbow Roads are amazing. And this one is a very fun one because it's pretty difficult. Right at the start with 200cc, what you have to do is kind of control yourself, not take too many of these boosts because they could go very badly. Then we'll get the pink boost off of our mini turbo. We'll be able to then take the right path by doing a slight drift. And that's a pretty good start. Then for the second lap, of course, it is going to change up. And you see all the planets and stuff. This place is just so awesome. We can get a couple of boosts off of these guys, which I will enjoy. Then get an item, which actually works out perfectly because that was as soon as Boo came by. So now we also have a banana. I do appreciate that. We'll try to get a couple of jumps off of these. That way we can get some speed ups. And there is going to be a red shell there. I do have the banana to protect myself, though. So that works. And this part is always a part where I can very easily mess up. First, it starts with the spinny area, and we don't actually want to go on those blue things. Instead, we just want to take the regular path because then we can do a bunch of tricks. Now, hopefully this is not a coin. Of course it is a coin. And there are two red shells, not even just one, but two red shells coming after me. I don't know if we're going to be able to take home the first, but somehow nobody was able to pass me. And there we go. Another red shell at the end. I'm just falling off. I love seeing the red shell go into the void. Now for the fruit cup, we have Amsterdam Drift. And I really like this stage, especially when you know how to do it. The first times I was playing this game, it was pretty hard because there are a couple of jumps that you have to make blind. And when you're doing 200cc, it is hard to know what to do. But I'll talk about those when we get to them. It starts with this farm area, which is really nice. I love the scenery. We do have a coin, so I will save that as much as possible until I get the item box but I accidentally used it before I got the item box and then I got another coin yeah that is not what we want to do but thankfully I actually wasn't punished for once and now we're in the water section the water section is fun because you got the bubbles coming up you can do some tricks off of them kind of hard to control yourself off of that one but we can lead that into a drift and then another one into the wall and just sitting there for a second there is going to be the red shell so i'll use that then we have this which i want to start going over to the left right away and for this last path we are taking over to the right there's a couple of these trolleys and stuff which are a little annoying and all the racers going through and a blue shell pretty much everything at one point but here is my favorite part of this map at least now that i'm good because i know you're not supposed to trick off of that instead you should always drift to the right i know it's a really small thing but i'm proud of myself every time i do it because i have messed up on that part so many times then we have to make it through here kind of ran into the wall which isn't the best but i still should be able to get first place if not for that greed show okay it didn't matter that was scary. Next, we're on to GBA Riverside Park. And this is another really short track. Not the easiest in the world because there are some obstacles that we will have to worry about, like these piranha plants that are spitting out their things. You know, it's still funny to me that piranha plant got in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that because they're using basically the same move that he uses. But pretty much all you have to do is take a tight turn right there, go under the waterfall, which I do enjoy doing. And that's going to be the first lap done. It's just about doing it well, watching out for for things like that red shell and all these piranha plants some of them have mushrooms other ones of them have bananas i'm pretty sure if you hit them with an item you can actually take it but obviously there's no real reason for us to do that and that is going to be second lap done already like i said this is a super fast track now we will see a red shell thankfully i have the banana and i got hit by another <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even really help me at the end. And then, of course, there's a blue shell because why would it there? Even on the really fast tracks, there's a blue shell. But we get hit by a lightning first, which is actually a good thing. I don't mind that. I was trying to get that double item block, which would have been nice. But we... <laughs> another one another lightning but that's fine all right we're making it to the end it could have went a lot better if i got better luck but you know what we're going into the ocean which means it is time for we dk summit and you already know both it is a winter stage and it's also a we stage so you already know this is one of my favorite stages in the game but what we do is actually a cool strategy where we want to drift over to the left. That way we get on that boost pad. Then we can get on that second one, which allows us to miss all that off-road terrain and just go through there right away. That's a cool strategy. I always enjoy 
doing. There's also a skip you can do going through those two craters, but it's really not worth it, especially being two and a half hours in the run. Then for here, I want to dodge those shy guys, do a couple of these. And this is just something I like doing for fun because I remember doing it on my Wii as a kid where you kind of like take that angle and Yoshi definitely should have crashed. But somehow because it's Mario Kart, you're able to survive. I just always find that fun. Now I do see a blue shell coming up. We will try to get this trick a second time. Just go off that, get one of those. And it just puts you in the perfect position. There are obviously other ways to do this track, but I think that's probably one of the best ones. Now we do have the double banana, kind of the worst point to have Squidward and also a lightning. The Squidward isn't that bad though. Pretty good spot for it to be all things considered. And now we just have to make it through these shy guys again. They're in kind of scary spots. So yep, not the best thing I've ever done. And we'll just skip that jump for this time. Don't worry, we will do it the third time. Now we can go through here. We'll get something that isn't a coin, which that's going to be a green shell. You know, it'll protect me. Now we'll try this trick one more time. I do not know what just happened there. Um, I'm gonna try to do this. And yeah, it did not work exactly how I wanted, but the mushroom saved us anyways. It doesn't really matter. Now for this last one, that is not what I was trying to do, but it surprisingly worked out. You know what? We'll take it. I don't think I even lost any time because of that. Then we have to make it through the shy guys. I'm going to try to do my thing one more time. I'm pretty sure this loses time, but it's just so much fun. <laughs> it's just a good time, man. So for this next race, we're now onto Yoshi's Island. And this is just such a cool track. A little known fact about me, I'm actually a huge Yoshi fan. Like, I've played all the Yoshi games and I enjoy them so much. Another cool fact is when I was a kid, my favorite color, I decided that my favorite color was green. And my reasoning for that is that Yoshi's green. So therefore, since Yoshi's green, Green, my favorite color is green and then my other thing was the reason that Yoshi is my favorite Mario character is because he's green so you know it kind of worked both way I was a weird kid but yeah this is fun you got the shy guys just on their thing you already know how much I love shy guys and you have the piranha plants all the different environment it's just a good spot and I love the sound effects when you collect the coins and things like that it was a beautiful homage I do enjoy this stage now once you make it onto this cloud section you definitely don't want to take one of those boosts and one thing we are aiming for is that cloud if we can get that that will speed us up just a tiny bit by being able to take that path and we also get a couple of coins so it's always worth it to get but it's pretty hard to sometimes and also what was that i don't even know how i ran into that and then there's also that i was trying to actually get eaten by the prana plant first that way it would be less of a bad thing to happen but what ended up happening was the prana plant also got hit by the blue shell kind of deserved i don't really feel bad about it but sorry about that man anyways we will take this path i'll see if i can get the cloud one more time it depends on what position it is in unfortunately it was a little bit too much over to the right and also it's been a while but donkey kong is actually right by me this time but of course he's not gonna win let's be honest with ourselves now we're on to the boomerang cup and this one starts out with bangkok rush and for this first one we go through this section with all these boats this water area really cool section i don't know something about it i just really enjoy it now there are some really annoying turns that you have to do like making it through here i wanted to get a boost there unfortunately didn't get it but here is pretty much just a huge straightaway path i'm surprised there's no traffic in this stage like nintendo loves adding traffic to these stages why not this one also i'm not really going to complain we get a bomb there i was kind of scared that that bomb was going to blow me out but now we're going through the city tons of people cheering us on and then we get this really fun glider section where we go through all these buildings and stuff love that place now there is a red shell behind me i thankfully have my green shell there's some crabs on the street for some reason i don't know how those got there and we will get squidward inked right there there pretty okay squidward ink place because there's not too much i have to do besides almost getting hit by that this part's also really fun going up the parking structure i don't know what the purpose of that parking structure is like that's a crazy parking structure to have there is barely any parking spots but we're coming through to the end i think this should be the last couple of turns boo you're literally taking nothing from me i don't care and that's that win so next up is ds mario circuit and how many mario circuits have we done in just this speed run it's kind of insane how many of these tracks there are but this one's kind of fun because you got the piranha plants that are shooting fire i really like the animation they do where they like open their mouths and then spit it out it's kind of cute but i mean it's a mario circuit track so the only thing we're really worried about is trying to get a couple of these coins as long as we can we do a pretty tight turn right there then we do a less tight turn right there and that's pretty much the entire track i kind of wish they added a little bit less of these mario circuit tracks and just gave us more original ones but i mean just because of those piranha plants i'm kind of okay with it they're just so cute how they're spitting out the fire 
it can be really annoying. It's easy to get hit by the fire, but at least it didn't happen this time. And of course, we're going to get lightninged right there, but not the worst spot for it to happen. I would like if I had some items, but we won't actually get them for a little bit. And I do wish I had a bit more coins right now. I should have focused on getting more earlier in the run, but that is actually going to be a coin there. So as soon as I get an item block, I can use it. That's going to get us up to nine and also get us a green shell, which is pretty good. And I should be good to go with the wind. I actually see DK behind me for once. Like he's actually doing better. You know, he's in fourth place right now, but maybe he's going to get back up. There is the blue shell though. If I didn't have bad driving there, I would have completely skipped that blue shell. So that's a little sad, but we still take home the win. And dang, Donkey Kong is now in third place. Maybe he's coming for the comeback. Now up next is going to be GameCube Waluigi Stadium. And you already know, Double Dash stage, I really enjoy it. You have to be very careful about the tricks for this stage though because they can very easily get you in the corners that you don't want. So instead of doing tricks for a lot of these jumps, I'm just gonna go directly into a drift in the direction I need to go. Now, the sad thing about this track compared to the one on GameCube is I remember you could get so many boosts off of the side of this track, and now you can only get like two, which is a little sad. Like I have very specific memories of getting like 10 boosts off of that place, and it was insane. I guess the physics are different than in the GameCube, so it makes sense why it's not there, but I do kind of miss it. But here, we don't want to take any of these boosts we don't want to do any tricks here instead we just want to charge up our drift use that first one then charge up a second one and then we have the lackluster way of going up these it just used to be so much fun to go up multiple and i actually didn't know that could happen so i played that a little differently than i usually do usually i do another jump into those tires but we were a little later on the map than i wanted to be and i didn't know if you went slow enough you didn't just boost through those tires but that's fine we also have the horn so if there are any blue shells i should be completely fine prepared prepared for that stuff. I really wish it would give me the combo of a horn and then like a green shell instead of a horn then a coin. Game, I can promise you I really don't need coins. I mean, they're not the worst thing, but a boo. A boo really took that from me. Okay, that's fine. We can go through there and this should be an easy win. I don't think there's any time for any blue shells for this track. At least there shouldn't be. I don't see any on the map, so we should be good to go to the end, do that final little fire jump, and there we go. That's that one done. Now, the sad thing about the Boomerang Cup is for some reason, Nintendo decided to put two tour tracks in this single cup. Usually, they only put one tour track in the cup. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, especially because this is a fun race. But I mean, there are other games too, and so many of the slots are already filled up with tour slots there needs to be one for at least each cup so they probably could have done something else with the spot but i do like this stage i mean they got the soccer stadium right there which is always fun to see and it does have some good music so i'm not going to complain too much i do like going through this market and stuff though there are a couple coins that we can get if i'm not bad and then for this final lap it's actually really fun because what we'll do is go through there we can get a couple of tricks and then that's going to be the lap three and then we get onto this section which we have these fast platforms we'll actually take the green platform because it is going to give us a pretty noticeable speed up i also do see a blue shell coming in at the end there's going to be this red shell which i will stop because it wasn't close enough to the blue shell and that is really unlucky timing where what lakitu what was that the dude just took me backwards and then forwards pick a direction dude you're supposed to be a professional referee what was that it, he was cheating for his brother did you see that? His brother just got ahead of me. Okay, I don't know about that one. I think we have to have some sort of investigation into that because he was definitely trying to get the other Lakitu to win. I'm just saying. Still, I do completely destroy those guys. Even with their cheating ways, we're able to take home the win. Now we're on to the Feather Cup. And to start, we have Athens Dash, which this might be my favorite tour track. I just really love the place. And I also really love it's not a city track. Instead, they actually do something a little different with it. But the start, not my greatest start. Didn't get the most amount of boost right there but we should be able to get a drift there hopefully i get something to protect me from the red shell but of course i don't and we'll come through here donkey kong come on man <laughs> you know i was just talking about how like donkey kong's doing better and i was kind of hoping for him to get back up to second place but at this point i do not hope that at all Donkey Kong, I hope you lose. I saw you got hit by an item. It's what you deserve, man. It's just such a beautiful track. It works out so well going through all these ruins and stuff. Then right here, what I want to do is start taking a right turn. There are going to be a couple of these paths. You can actually do tricks off of them. Almost got a terrible angle right there, but somehow I was able to just barely make it through. And I do have this mushroom. I don't know really the best time to use it. And I do want a protection item, so I'll use it right there. That way we can get a green shell. And of course, there will be a Squidward here. Kind of a bad spot to have him, but this part isn't the worst in the world. 
I just have to watch out for the boulders, make sure none of those hit me. That was a little too close for comfort. And finally, to finish out this map, we just come through here, do a couple of those, get hit by a lightning, which completely messes up my path. But that's fine because we're still able to take home the win and in a pretty quick fashion. And here it is. Easily one of the best double dash tracks. I know people are probably a little tired of this track, but come on. Daisy's Cruiser on the GameCube is so good. It's just such a fun track. I guess I just love the cruise ship vibe that it has. That just makes it even better. But you go through here and what we want to do is not take that underwater path. I almost accidentally went up there, but we want to take this path because it is going to be faster. I didn't do that in the greatest way possible, to be honest. But if I do it a little bit better, we go a lot faster. I also really like taking this left path on this section. That way it's an easier way to boost. Then we can get a trick right there, do our grind directly into that, which I don't even know how that got stopped but we go into the dining hall which by the way whoever made this cruise ship you are not good at designing things because those tables move around all the time with how the cruise ship moves and it is definitely not safe i am surprised none of these passengers have died yet but i guess they're also watching people race on their cruise ship so imagine someone's just really tired they just finished up lunch and then they get hit by one of these cars that might happen as well i mean it's the experience you're paying for what can you say but look at these tables they're literally moving right now it makes no sense who signed off on this but that looks like it is going to be better and that's exactly what we want i would prefer if i could have done that every single time but you can't really get everything perfect and you already know a gamecube track into a wii track i really do love that now i actually would have preferred if we got the gamecube track for this one mushroom city the track and its music are so good still though this is a good track i mean it does have cars but i would say more so than pretty much any of the other car tracks they're not very impactful. I also love the bomb cars. Those were always fun, like trying to knock people into and then they get exploded. But you will see on the second lap, what I'm going to do is actually go up this cliff and do a trick. I didn't do that for the first track because usually there's going to be a truck right there and the truck's just in the perfect position to be slightly too annoying to try to do that. Then we can get a couple of these boosts. I have a pretty good item pool right now. And as soon as I say that, of course, Boo is going to come through. And then of course, there's also going to be a red shell. And I get hit by a car, but I'm pretty sure then the car hit the red shell. So at least we were safe from that. Now I will try to do this jump one more time. Okay, there's that car right there. Kind of unlucky, but that is fine, except another car. <laughs> so, you know, I was just getting done saying how not bad the cars are in this stage. And of course I get hit by multiple of them, but still it's not really that bad in this stage just because the paths aren't that skinny and there aren't that many turns. So they don't really mess you up too bad, even if you do get hit by them. Anyways, making it over to the end, we'll take an item box. I was kind of hoping we get something good right there. Didn't have enough time, but that'll be our win. Now on to squeaky clean sprint. And this is one of my favorite DLC courses. And I also got a burnout. I should have known it was going to happen at least for one of these races. I was not expecting that one basically what happens there is what you're supposed to do is start holding a right when the two stops moving so then you can get the perfect boost and if you do it anytime before that you'll still get kind of a tiny boost i did it slightly too early so that caused the burnout now what i'm going to do here as well is be right for that item box i want to aim for that item box which is going to give us the perfect angle to be able to make it on this top part I didn't even know about this top part for the longest time just because it's hard to get to. And if you go more to the right or anything like that, you're just not going to get it. So you do have to pay attention to that. Now there's going to be a red shell. Maybe it gets destroyed by something. I don't know. Or, oh, I almost had the green shell. And I see a blue shell coming as well. A lot of things trying to murder me. I'm just trying to do my trick, man. This by far on 200cc is the best way to do this map because if you don't take this direction, then it's really hard to make that turn. And a lot of the times I've actually died there just because I tried to make it. But if you take the top path, not only is it faster, but it's also going to give you a huge jump. We can get another trick off of there and it just works out perfectly. So now for the last one, we will try to get a jump off of those bath bombs, which is something I forgot to mention. You can get a jump off of the bath bombs as well, which is a nice little feature. It's always nice to get an extra trick in places that aren't just your conventional jump, but we'll see if I can get this one more time. By the way, I am moving slightly to the right near the end. That way we do actually get onto the platform, but it's a pretty easy jump once you actually know what to do. Just thought I'd explain it since I didn't know about it for the longest time. So now it's time for Los Angeles Laps, and this is a pretty fun stage, mostly because the music's really good and I really like the environment. I mean, you got the beaches, you got a construction area that we're going to make it to later. It's just a cool environment altogether. 
even if it is another tour track and it's another one through a city. But what I want to do at the beginning is pretty much just keep my speed not too difficult at the beginning, but it definitely gets harder in the later parts of the track. You'll see we make it over to lap two. And another thing I really like about this track is Mario Baseball. Okay, Nintendo, we need a new Super Sluggers game. Hopefully people are watching this like a year from now and they're like, yes, we finally got it. We finally got the next Mario Baseball. We've had all the sports. It's time for baseball. I used to love playing that game, but we'll make it through here. We do get a blue shell, kind of the perfect place for it to happen though, because it was right by a boost pad, which means we'll keep up our speed right away. And what we want to do here is take the left path. You can go through that and it's a much faster path than going all the way around. So that's nice. But then, okay, yep, it was going to happen. I tried to use my bomb there, got hit by a red shell. I knew it would happen. At least I should be able to beat these guys. We are going to make it through this construction area. I'll get a couple of coins, also get the double item block. And then finally, right at the end, what we're going to end off with is this pier section. So we just have a nice straightaway go into the end. And that's going to be another tour track done. Now time for another one of these amazing tracks, because this one is going to be GBA Sunset Wilds. And the great thing about this track is it has shy guys and they dance. That's pretty much the reason I love this so much. I mean, it's not the most interesting track compared to a lot of the other ones but once you make it to the section look at these guys they're literally working and dancing all together it's adorable i just love this track so much it's so fun man they're just having a good time now it is sad i remember i did hear complaints about basically the sun doesn't go down even though it's called sunset wilds which is kind of sad now right here what i want to do is actually do a drift into that boost i kind of messed it up right there still fine we have something to protect ourselves these guys are just having a great time doing their work I love him. Then we got this turn. I see DK behind me. He is really trying to make up, get his second place. DK, I think he accepts at this point. He's not going to get first place. I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible. Unless I got like last place on every single race. But we come to the end. You know, the song even gets better when it starts going faster. Sounds so good. These guys are dancing so fast. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I know, I, I, I'm just too much of a fan of Shy Guys. But we can make it to the end. Unfortunately, it looks like DK kind of got boosted to the back. I'm pretty sure that's a fourth place for him. He's still in third. He could take second place. It is possible. Especially since we are now officially on the final 10 tracks of this speed run. This one, of course, going to be Wii Koopa Cape. Now, this is a track everybody knows about Koopa Cape. It's an amazing track, and it also has great music. And it also is a really good track for doing 200cc. Right there, what I want to do, not take that jump instead i go into a drift that way i can get the cracked angle and this one is really just all about controlling your drift especially once you get into this section we want to make sure we slow down just a little bit that way we don't go and take the jump or anything like that we can get a nice boost and then right here i am going to start my drift before we even get out there that way right away i can use it right there and get a nice speed boost we also somehow got a mushroom i don't even know how we got that but i will take it we get a horn which is really good i would like it if I could take out another blue shell. I mean, actually, I probably shouldn't say that because definitely what's going to happen now is there's going to be a red shell that hits me. So I have to use the horn and then there's going to be a blue shell right after that. So you know what? Just don't give me a blue shell at all. But into here, this will be nice. We get rid of that. Take a nice tight turn. I will say it probably was better on the Wii. I do like this stage better when it was on the Wii, but it's still pretty good in Mario Kart 8. You can't complain too much. And somehow I am keeping my horn right now, which is cool. I mean, I don't need it, but yes, there's a blue shell. Let's go. I'm able to use it for its intended purposes. And then we get a red shell right after. So it barely even matters. Oh, game. It's always a cruel fate for me, isn't it? I mean, at least we got to take out the blue shell. That's got to count for something. And then there's another red shell. Donkey Kong is coming after me right now. He goes, I need this first if I'm going to get second place. But there was lightning. So that stops him dead in his tracks. I'm pretty sure he might have overtaken me if it wasn't for that. But is Donkey Kong going to lose to Kamek? No, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, who got second place right there? This is exciting. And Kamek was able to barely edge it out. Terrible day for Donkey Kong fans. Now for this race, unfortunately, another tour track. The Cherry Cup is another cup where it gives us two tour tracks in the same cup for some reason. But I don't really complain about this one because it's Vancouver. This track's name is Vancouver Velocity. And I really like this track because it has hockey. I enjoy hockey. I think it's a fun game to play and watch. And it's also a really fun game when you're playing in video games. Like if you ever played Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games and played that hockey minigame, I love that hockey minigame. We need 
another Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Now I'm just kind of turning this video into my request for video games. But Nintendo, come on, you can do it. Anyways, we're going to make it over to this section, which is a pretty easy turn. And surprisingly, we have another horn when there's another blue show. I'm actually getting insane luck lately. I mean, I say that and then something bad happens right after. But we will be able to use this horn to stop the blue show as soon as we make it into the hockey stadium. This place is just really cool to see. I love seeing it. Then I want to make a tight turn right there. I'll use that. And of course, of course, why would there not be just the blue shell? Why would there not be a red shell right after it? Okay, now we can make it into this tunnel. There's a couple bats. Those guys almost hit me. That was very close. But we get to go through the city. And Vancouver's just a cool place, man. Then we get the hockey arena. This part is a little bit harder since you have to go straight instead of to the left. So you have to be a little bit more careful about that. But that will go directly into turning to the left. I get electrocuted. And right here, we're coming over to the end. This looks like a pretty easy win for me. Not a good time for Donkey Kong. I'm pretty sure that was a fifth place finish. Yeah, man, it's looking less and less likely for you. And now onto the Acorn Cup. We're gonna have Rome Avanti, which again, tour track that I do like, especially because because just in this last year, I actually visited Rome and it's a really cool place. But right at the start, we wanna go through the Colosseum, get a couple of boosts, then go into this area. I like the nice nighttime feel that this has to it, but this one is really just about memorizing the entire track. But you can really say that about a lot of these tracks. One of the easiest ways to get better at this game is just play the tracks. You don't even have to learn the skips or anything like that. If you just know where every direction is, what the best path you might have to take is, then you're gonna be so much better than a lot of the people who play it. Especially for these tour tracks because they are really confusing especially the first time that you're playing them so yeah watch out for that anyways we will take the left path right here which puts us into this nice garden area we can get a couple of boosts i feel like i've seen that garden area before they might have reused it and just slightly changed the colors but then i also go off into the distance not the best thing to happen surprisingly nobody got ahead of me there and for the final part this is actually one of my favorite parts since you have the chain chomp now this is kind of a jump scare warning honestly i've been jump scared by these chain chops before but look they just come out at you make loud noises it's kind of scary i'm just gonna warn you just in case but other than those chain chomps that should be all the hard parts we just have to make it through here there is going to be a red shell which i can get through and we make it over to the end nice and easy win donkey kong where even are you i didn't even see him on the map ninth place to no. this really is not a good day for donkey kong fans but it's okay we are now on gamecube dk mountain so if there was any map that donkey kong could get a second place in, it's probably this one he just has to play out of his mind kamek does not want him to have the second place and you know what i'm back to cheering for him i like donkey kong more than i like kamek but you already know gamecube track i love it i i just love everything about it what we're gonna want to do here is get a trick there do another one and then do that directly into a drift that way as soon as we touch the ground we can go the right direction and we have a super cool trick that we're gonna do here what we want to do is very much slow down while we're getting these boosts and then we do one right into there which the red show kind of ruined you know what i'm still gonna go for it it didn't work <laughs> but it would have been cool if i hit it then i get hit by another red show but at least it was my donkey kong you know i'm cheering for you dude so i probably will show it correctly the next time that was a little bit funny that entire sequence of events but yeah we come through here i love going through the cannon and seeing that mountain with his angry face it's beautiful now we're gonna go ahead get a double item box hopefully we'll actually have protection for once in my life but no it can't even give me a bob as protection it's going to electrocute me please game kamek is just trying to get the win as much as possible but we're actually going to do the trick here what we want to do is have a very tight turn we can get a boost directly onto that and it's such a cool trick i love doing that one i don't know if it's possible on 150 cc without a mushroom i assume it would be if you do it correctly but on 200 cc it's pretty easy as long as you have a lot of control you really have to hold the break button for that one and you can get it done all right i still see donkey kong in second place i mean this is literally his map if he doesn't win here then that would be you know a little bit embarrassing but we'll see what happens i gotta more focus on myself and we'll see if i can do this one perfectly this time without being tiny without having to worry about anything you really slow down you go for the jump 
saves a ton of time. It's a great skip. Definitely recommend learning that one for this map, especially because this map is so good. And who is going to get the second place? I think that's a DK victory. Let's go, DK. It might be impossible for you to win, but at least you're taking some of these tracks. At this point, DK absolutely needs not only for himself to do well, but for Kamek to do terrible. He needs Kamek to get like a last place somehow, which I don't even know if is possible. Anyways, now we're on to Wee Daisy Circuit. Again, GameCube track into Wii track. You already know it's amazing. And I mean, it's a daisy map. I also enjoy seeing those. But what we're gonna do right at the start is just try to get a couple of those mini turbos doing some drifting. We can do one of our tricks right there. And I will go for the double item box. Missed it, little embarrassing. But yeah, pretty simple track. It is a circuit track, so not much you can say. But I mean, it's daisy. So that makes it pretty cool, right? The important thing here is to just get as many boosts as possible. I kind of messed up that second boost. So I'm gonna take the left path instead of going to the right again. Then we go through here, the high highway section will get a nice jump i want to get an item block there thank you very much never mind no thank you because you hit me with a lightning so i no longer have my items but donkey kong i'm seeing him but donkey kong is trying his best hammock is gonna do everything in their power to not let donkey kong win but i'm believing in him man it almost makes me want to give him first place just so he has an even better chance but also we are way too big of rivals for me to do that so sorry donkey kong i'm not gonna help you out that much and yeah now as soon as i say stuff Kamek is back in second place. What are you going to do? We're just going to make it to the end. I have no time to wait for you. I think at least he came home with a third place. So not the worst, but that is a big deficit he has to make up. Now we have Piranha Plant Cove. Love this stage. And this also means we are on the final five stages of this video. So if you are watching this far, I just have to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the video. It's been a lot of learning to get these races done. Glad at least it seems like you're enjoying the video. And by the way, one thing I do want to mention is always do remember you are loved. You make the people around you happier. Keep going no matter what you're going through. It will get better. I believe in you. Anyways, that is going to be the first lap done. We will go through the ocean again. I can get a couple of tricks off of there. And you're just trying to get as many tricks as possible in this section. I mean, that's pretty much the entire game of Mario Kart. Except I guess it's not really on 200cc. I have mentioned before that a lot of the times you don't want to do these tricks. But here, because we have a lot of straight paths and there's not too many turns, it's worth it to do them. Then we have these guys, which I am very scared of them hitting me. But we got it done. And this should lead us to the last lap where we're actually going to the left. So this is going to be a completely new lap. I always love when they do this stuff. And what we'd want to do is just go through. We see that clam right there. You can get the items for the clams. It's not really worth it, especially because I got the banana coin combo. Some might say the deadliest combo in the game. Though some would be wrong, but you know, they might say it. Anyways, we come through to the end. We just have to do a couple of turns that I mess up on. And I don't think Donkey Kong is doing the best right now. He's trying his best. But yeah, that's another third place. Anyone who's a Donkey Kong fan right now, you got to put your hands up for a spirit bomb. But now it is time for our very last cup, the Spiny Cup. And this is also our very last Mario Kart Tour track, which is going to be Madrid Drive. And they end off Mario Kart Tour tracks with a bang. Honestly, this entire cup is amazing. I love it so much. Maybe my favorite cup in the game. And that's also a funny thing because there's only one Wii stick stage and there are no GameCube stages. This cup is just so good. It has so many heavy hitters and this one's just amazing all together. Probably one of the best tour tracks. Not the best, but it's definitely up there. So what we're doing as we make it over to lap two, I'm going to make sure I get a couple of these coins. I'm trying to go for an item block because we already got the banana. I would like something else for protection, but no, of course it's a coin. And what you want to do here, do not get a trick. Instead, you want to go straight into the drift as you saw for the first lap as well. That way you have enough control and and you're good to go. Then we have a banana, thankfully. Boo did not take everything I had. You know, that's always nice. Thank you, Boo, for not being the worst person in the world. There will be a blue shell here, not preferred. Maybe I can outrun it, at least for a little bit. Maybe I get a horn and we're able to save ourselves. No, we get lightning and then we get a blue shell and a red shell because when it rains, it pours, but still way out in front. So I can't really complain. We just have to do these final couple of turns. This time it's going to make us take more of a left path than we ever have before. There's going to be these Goombas that are walking through the street and we get a Squidward. Uh, not the worst place, but I like this part because now we're in the soccer stadium and there are all these soccer balls, which very easily could kill me, but no, instead it's a red shell and a second red shell that do it instead. And Lakitu is somehow in second. 
I think because he got a bullet build, that is kind of cheating. But at least we still keep our first. I would have been so mad if he took that from me. Then for the second track of this powerhouse of a cup, we have 3DS Rosalina's Ice World. And yeah, this stage, amazing stage. You already know, I've said it so many times. It is a winter stage. It's got all the ice, but it's also the music. It's also the environment. It's the Super Mario Galaxy stuff you see in the background. Just all together, this makes an amazing track. Now, what I was trying to do right there was not get put into the water that didn't really work but then right here i'm not actually going to take the right path because a lot of times it's easy to mess up especially if you get hit by an item and it's really not that much faster now we're coming through here we can get a couple of boosts that is going to be lap number one and this part is really the hardest part because you want to make sure you don't go too much on the wall otherwise your camera gets extremely messed up and it can make things very bad so I try to control my camera as much as possible. And this time we're actually going to try to stay on the top. I don't know where these penguins are. They're a little bit scary, but we can make it through that second time. I do see that a blue shell is coming up. Not too much we can do about that. And there is also going to be a red shell, but the red shell hits me into the blue shell. So I actually kind of appreciate that. And now we'll go through here. Kamek, that was a terrible jump. I don't even know why you attempted that. And one more time, we'll hope that we can maintain our drift pretty good. This time, at least there aren't bananas in the track. That was a little annoying and it's really hard because after you get the big drift right there you also don't want to run into the wall and then do one of those jumps so i have to control myself extremely well to make it through that but final part of the track there's going to be a red shell please let me get my banana there were so many things that were worrying about at once but also squidward comes out it doesn't even matter it looks like donkey kong is not going to take second place though so another sad day for him but here we go it is time for SNES Bowser's Castle 3. This is such an amazing stage. I love it so much. First of all, the entire environment, all the lava going through, and then it's just a really fun track. It's not the most complicated thing in the world, but you can play it extremely fast if you play it well. And just all together, it makes for a great track. I love it. I'm glad they added another Bowser Castle under the game because Bowser's Castle tracks are also some of the best. I don't know why they didn't add more. We make it through. We're way ahead of everybody else. And Kamek is also way ahead in second. So we'll hope that Donkey Kong can somehow come back. Maybe Donkey Kong just has to go for a bullet bill or something at this point. Bullet bills in this game have been overpowered. Like some people have been able to get some really good places just because they're bullet bill luck. The best thing about this track is you just go fast it just feels good it doesn't have all the complicated skips it doesn't have all the things that you can do it doesn't have a changing track it's the same track all three laps but it's just such a good track to play and it just feels so good i don't know i cannot compliment it enough i know i've been complimenting a lot of these tracks in this game but that's just because i enjoy mario kart it definitely was a game that i grew up with so it makes sense now we'll come through to the end we have 10 coins so we don't have to worry about that we actually get the perfect mushroom right there i really appreciate that and that's going to end off that track. Oh, and Donkey Kong actually got a first. It's not going to help him that much, but good for you, Donkey Kong. And to finally finish out this monster of a speed run, we have what I believe to be the greatest Mario Kart track of all time, Wii Rainbow Road. I absolutely love Rainbow Road. It's a really hard track, but once you know how to do it, it definitely is one of the coolest tracks in the game. There's a really cool ultra shortcut on the original Wii version as well that just makes it cool. There are so many good things about this track. I did kind of mess up my jumps right there. I probably won't take that risk again because I'm not trying to fall off. Childhood me would be very upset if I fell off. It is 200cc, so it is a little scary. But a cool thing about this is you can go into a drift right there, another drift right there, and you can control all of your momentum. Now, this drift is a little hard because we want to release our boot boost a little bit early to make sure we get the perfect timing and we're good to go for lap one so much about this track just comes together and it just makes it perfect the music the colors all the different tricks and all the tight turns you have to do all the ways you can die it's actually insane how it took them so long to make this track and put it into the mario kart 8 deluxe but i guess it's fair you want to end off with the biggest bang you can because everybody's going to want to play this track it's not looking too good for donkey kong right now just in my quick looks over i I do not see him anywhere. I do wish they didn't have all the railings on this track. I feel like that would have made this even more fun. Oh, by the way, when I said this is the best Mario Kart track, I did mean the Wii version. This version is good as well, but the Wii version top tier. But now we will grab a couple of these. We have a coin and a banana, so we should be completely protected from anything. We can make this final boost. And there we go. That is time 321. 
38, which is going to give us 19th place on speedrun.com. And I'm pretty proud of that. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.